morning. Happy Tuesday. Welcome to the program. My name is Patrick Melton. We're a, we're a comedy podcast for Midwestern moms and Slavic types that need something to listen to in the old laundry room at work. So, you know, whether you're peeling off stamps for national treasures to be mailed across this here greater United States, or you're sitting in the back of a truck sorting through packages as an Amazon flex driver, you can be sure that Nobody Likes Onions is the program you're going to want to put on to get you through your day. Okay, I don't even know what I'm, I don't even know what I'm saying. I don't even know what I'm saying. Welcome to the show. Uh, happy birthday, if it's your birthday. I don't even know. I'm not even high, but I feel giggly and giddy. I'm not high, but I feel like I've got a natural high. Anyway, welcome to the program. My name's Patrick. I'm a guy everybody points at and calls fat <laughs> in the streets. Okay. <laughs> Why am I so... Is there a gas leak? Is there a gas leak in my house? Hit the like button. Welcome to Tuesday morning. Um, you know, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Welcome to it. Um, we'll have it. I saw people before the show. FK Mommy particularly was like, I love Steel Toe Free Tuesdays. I wish I could do a Steel Toe Free Tuesday for you. If you think we're not having Steel Toe today, oh boy. Oh boy, are you out of your mind. I can't. I can't. If we take one day off of Steel Toe... We could get so far behind. You know, thank God MLC is dead in the water. There's nothing to cover in the Chad Zumok world. There's nothing to cover. I, I, I like everybody else, you know, keep ignoring the free chat, Kevin. <laughs> you know, keep ignoring the free chat. Why would I care what the free chat? I don't know. It's just everyone. It's just everyone. It's just the entire population giving you their feedback on the program everybody from age of quarrel to to you know um who's that other who's that other super chat uh fucking what's the guy i don't know go go look on twitter in my timeline i don't know why people are feeling the need to tell me i'm a longtime fan of mlc this is the worst it's ever been i'm a longtime fan and then you got other people like nah this is how it always goes i don't know i don't know i'm not i've not been a listener long enough it's unbearable watching Kevin and Chad pretend laugh at Mike Pachetti's. Again, we're, it's wrong to make fun of Kate Meany, right? It's wrong to make fun of these people. That's fucked up, Melton. And yet you'll bring on that fucking waterhead Pachetti every Monday. I ain't put it like this. I ain't put it like this. And we got to sit here and watch him rub two words together and try to come up with a new insult that you'll fake laugh at. I can't do it. I can't do it. It's painful. I watched 10 minutes of it and you turn it off. It's it, again, it was funny for a day or two. Now it's every Monday, Mike Pachetti and his skin tag Zumok tagging along. Somehow Zumok's the sauce that makes it work. I can't, I can't. It, it, it really is embarrassing. It's very bad. We, I mean, look, if Bachetti says something funny, he says something funny. And now it's forced. Every $2 that comes in, Bachetti has to go, uh, let me put it like this. Uh, let me put it this way. Uh, your mother, the, 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 the kids in the balls, the, the butts fell out of a butt. The, the dicks fell out of a dick and the butt fell out of a butt. It's like, how long are you going to fucking pretend to clap for that? I mean, it's fucking gross. <laughs> it's like... You want to watch a retard? Let me, let me put it this. Let me put it this way, right? I didn't want to put the butt fell out of your penis. I didn't want the penis fell out of the butt. I didn't, your mama has a couple of different things that every day. It's like, and then you gotta watch Chad and him be like, "Oh, that's a good boy. That's crazy." But said he said that. It's like, fuck, I can't, I can't. And then just keep pretending like it's magic. Keep pretending like you have a winning formula for radio over there, like. Can you believe what we do for Saturday Mondays? Can you believe we wheel Bacetti's head in here on a Monday? <laughs> That's crazy. We wheel in that Easter Island statue of a fucking noggin. <laughs> Let me put it to you like this. Let me put it to you this way. <laughs> it's like, fuck. Again, maybe once a month. 
you know, capstone the, the, the month with machete. But if you guys want to pretend like that's new and fresh every Monday and really clap and laugh at that fucking idiot, I can't help you. I can't help you. I mean, keep pretending like you're the elite. Keep pretending like your heads and shoulders above the rest, Kevin. We've seen your resume, and that's what you do. I really, he really, like, no, fuck, talk to me when you've been on Star Search. It's like, is that what it takes to qualify you to wheel Pachetti in and pretend laugh every Monday, you fucking sad sack of sour? I can't. I can't. Uh, let me put it to you like this, all right? Let me put it to you like this, okay? And, you know, Bichetti feels like he's killing it because after every show, Kevin Brennan sends him $20 and some saltwater taffy, you know, and that keeps him busy till next Monday. He'll be chewing. <laughs> and, then they bring, and then they bring him out again. Let me put it to you like this, okay? Let me put it to you. I'm gonna put it like this, right? I'm gonna put it like this. And then and we and then we have to just listen to him make an amalgamation of your mom, butt, penises, kicked your ass, fell out of your gay butt, fell out of your penises, fell out of your butt. I kicked kicked your dad so hard your mother's penises fell out of her butt. I kicked your penis so hard your mom fell out of her butt. I think I kicked your butt so hard your mom penis fell out of your dad's butt. It's the same jokes over and over again. It's so bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me put it to you like this, right? I kicked something so hard that something fell out of something it wasn't supposed to fall out of. Hey. It's like the same joke. Every two dollars, we have, we have to listen to this fucking mental mongoloid strap together his vocabulary and gas up the old engine that is his cerebrum while we fire off a few synapses to try to generate some sort of fucking Word salad, <laughs> mad lib insult. I put it to you like this, all right? And then put it, I tell you not to put it like this, all right? And then they come down to where you work and kick the asses out of your mom. I don't come down to where you, your mom works and uh, the asses out of her butt. It's it's so bad, and then and they'll and they'll stretch it out for three and a half hours. Oh, that was a good one, Mike. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh shit. That was a good one, Mike. Fuck. I put it to you like this, right? Your mom turned the butt. I mean, I just okay, okay. I mean, I'd rather listen to uh, Michael Ray Power. <laughs> it's a, it's less, it's less repetitive, and the guy's got more cognitive function. I think. Oh, God, is it painful. Anyway, hit the like button. Welcome to Tuesday. Uh, thanks for tuning in to the morning shows. We know you have a lot of choices when it comes to mornings. What with the BS show and the Levy Land and the ver uh, Dabble Heads. Um, we'll be doing it. We'll be doing it. Um, but we're doing it. Oh, the uh, venue, the new venues announced for Hackamania. It's up on the website. Um, some local podcasters like fucking went through a map with all the clues I gave and found it, um, I guess, over the weekend. But either way, it's all up now. It's all been announced. I got the website updated. I got the tickets updated. If you want to, uh, if you go, um, if you have a ticket already that you printed or you received by email, if you'll click the link to your ticket, you can print out a new copy. It'll have the new venue information on it and um, obviously all the ones going forward. We'll have the new venue information on it, but uh, basically, look, and you're going to go, everybody's going to go scour around and try to find details. It's a brand new place. It's, they opened uh, April 5th. It's called Sinwave. I don't know if it's Sine Wave or Sinwave. I assume it's Sinwave. It's one of these dark rock clubs, you know, where people wear horns. <laughs> um, but no, the place is dope. It's it's uh, it's a nice uh, venue that's state-of-the-art stage audio lighting sound stuff again the space so much more functional uh right off the street is a great giant uh bar lounge room where again we're gonna have our vip cocktail reception it'll be open during all the shows you don't want to be watching the podcast or the comedy show you can go out and have a drink and uh scrounge around with the other losers out at the bar it's in the arts district 
there is pizza, barbecue, uh, a million places to eat around there, bars around there. There's a couple dispensaries within walking distance. So it's a good area. Look, there's not going to be a casino where you can wander off and play blackjack for 20 minutes and zip right back. But most of the people coming uh, aren't coming to gamble. And if you are, you know, stay at the casino and gamble. Don't come watch a podcast, nerd. Get that money. <laughs> Get that money. Uh, promo code Cardiff will save you 20% off tickets at uh, hackamania.com. Promo code Cardiff, C-A-R-D-I-F-F, will save you 20% off. I wish I was kidding. It's a real promo code I set up. Just to microwave that potato a little bit, huh? Let's see how popular he is. Let's see how popular he is. I know starches and tubers are the talk of the town. <laughs> I get it. People like it. So we're going to be making uh, julian fries. We're going to have a workshop at Hackamania, a table set up where you purchase a potato. Our master chefs walk you through cutting that up into any shapes you may want. Waffle. Steak. <laughs> and then we take you over to our fry station where you individually fry each and every fry yourself. We're the only place in Vegas where you make your own fries. So that'll be a hack of mania. And then we cover it with uh, powdered sugar and pieces of chocolate and whipped cream. And that's we're the only ones who have funnel fries in the entire Vegas downtown area. So come on by for Patrick's famous funnel fries if, you, if you're interested. Um, I turned off MLC because of Machete yesterday. I missed KB watching the Dixon clip. Yeah, I mean, first of all, you don't even need to see you don't need to see MLC watch anything. Like, A, he sucked. Like, this is the fucking beauty of Kevin Brennan. He had a career, and now he sucks at everything. Like, he's not good at stand-up, so he doesn't do stand-up. He shall never do stand-up. He can't uh, interact with people on a personal level, so he'll never do, like, selling tickets to an event or anything. You know, and again, he's afraid of everybody. He's completely paranoid. He's considered I've got like, se he thinks I have like seven different operations going against him and his wife. It's the best. It's the best. I'm doing nothing. And he's he assumes I'm out there grinding my teeth, getting things done to fuck with him. And it's like, I, I love it. I love it. I've never done less and had someone think I'm doing more. It's, it's really peak times for my life. Um. So, yeah, I I mean, look. Again, Kevin, keep ignoring the regular chat, I guess. Keep ignoring the regular chat. Why pay attention to them? You know what you're doing. You got this. You got this. Comedy God. Comedy God. Franklin Sheckler put out a, a video, a compilation of Ray. Just going, I love Kevin Brandon. I love Kevin. Ray, Mark, the, Ke, Ray DeVito's on my event, and I'm, and I'm saying this with impunity. Ray DeVito is fucking dumb. Ray DeVito is brain dead and retarded. I'm sorry. And, you know, if he sees this and it makes him not want to come to the event, so be it. He's dumber than dog shit. I'm sorry. It ain't hooked up right, and he don't think good. Uh, again, uh, not his fault, maybe. I don't know. I don't know if the semi-truck jarred something loose. Who knows? For all we know, it could have connected shit, and this might be the brightest he's ever been. I know. He's dumber than dog shit. You know when you see someone like abusing their pet, you see someone just like kicking the fuck out of a dog and you're like, that's fucked up. Raise the dog and he keeps coming back. Raise the dog and he's just like, ah, he'll change. Ray, he hates you. He hates you and does nothing but shit on you and then you go, ah, uh, he's fine. So, so yeah. So everyone treats Ray how they treat Ray because Ray takes it, you know? I don't want to hear one more thing about how I treat Ray. Ray's a fucking idiot who will take it. You get to respect your command You command from people. You, you, you get what you command from people. He walks around commanding people shit in his hand, and they do. You know, I, I, everyone wants to blame Shuli for the Pottstown thing and stuff. It's like... Only a fucking mental midget rolls up to a place at 6 p.m. and goes, so where am I sleeping tonight with no prior thought about what arrangements have been made? So, like, is Shuli and, and company a piece of shit for not really, like, taking care of Ray? Yes. But also, what kind of man doesn't think about where he's going to lay his head in a strange state? 
until nightfall. Huh. I better start thinking about where I'm going to sleep tonight. I mean, we're dealing with a fucking retard. We're, de- we're dealing with an absolute fucking mush brain moron. And I'm not, I'm not dumb. If this motherfucker, if this motherfucker tomorrow could back over me in his car to get Kevin Brennan to like him again, he would. That's, I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. This is why I say it with no fucking hesitation. Ray, Ray would shove me off Mount, Mount, uh, pick a mountain that doesn't exist, uh, 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 Elsinore. If, if it mean Kevin Brennan would pay attention to him for five more fucking minutes. So do I have a sympathy for Ray? Do I feel bad for Ray? No. Does Ray keep yelling? I'm getting paid. We're getting paid, guys. Uh, we're, we're all getting paid. Ray, I'm, I'm the authority of the event. No one has ever told you you're getting paid. No one's ever told you that. No one's ever told you you're getting money for this event, ever, ever. And you keep telling everybody you're getting money. I've never told you that. I've never, ever, ever said you were getting money for this event, ever, ever, ever. Matter of fact, I've constantly reiterated to you, like I'm doing now, that you are not guaranteed money. How about that? How about it? Write it down. You love picking up pens. Pick up a pen and write it down. Again, I don't know why you can't keep screaming at everybody. Oh, we're getting money. We're all getting paid. You might not. Okay. So I just wanted to clear that up. Thank you very much uh, for coming to the program today. <laughs> Let me put it like this. I kicked Moby so hard in his micropan that 20 energy drinks fell out of his asshole. Put it like this. I smashed April in her urethra so hard that five bulldoze uh, fell out of her scrimp sack. I'll say it like this. I kicked KB in the asshole so hard that he cried. Now, MLC looks like... The Special Olympics started a podcasting event, and I'm winning gold medal, baby. Uh, painful. Painful! But so be it. Um, anyway, that's just stuff about the venue. That's all up, and uh, I'm excited about that. Uh, for everybody who's been waiting. So, uh, so, again, sorry, I meant to have that done on the weekend, and I just did not get time or have a weekend. Um, okay. So, all right. Hackamania, that stuff's up. Uh, go check it out. Uh, Sinway Vegas. Uh, then you can begin all your planning and stuff. I assume Tiff's going to bring her Apple table. <laughs> Apple bottom Tiff. That's what we're going to call her. Apple bottom Tiff. Terry Nee, member for 13 months. Greetings, Patrick Melton. Wishing you a splendid day filled with creativity, inspiration, and endless opportunities. Wow. You should get a job at one of those fortune cookie factories. Uh, Bubble Guts, member for nine months. Steel Toe is on a seven-day YouTube suspension. I am very aware. Davy Cakes, Curly Fries, possible? I don't know. You might have to bring your own spiralizer for that. We're not going to really have the equipment on site on the day. So, again, please just bring bring your own... Uh, uh, cutting utensils. Krautcat has been sleeping on the job, but lest anyone forget, I'm 50. Yeah, Krautcat's been sleeping on the job, uh, reminding us constantly about Ray's uh, impending 51st birthday this year, which is amazing. Today's executive producer is, oh, it's DK. It's DK, Chad's number one hater and recent uh, Turner. Are we calling people who do the turn Turners doom? What are we calling them? Turners, those who, those whom have turned, them who have been turned. The cho- can we just call them the chosen? <laughs> what are we calling people who have turned? The turn, the turn, the t- the f- the chat members formerly known as unturned. We'll work on it. We'll have to work on some new uh, a new logo for the turned. I don't know. I don't know. And thanks to everybody also who's contrib- who, who has, uh, who have 
Oh, God, it's really going bad today. Contributed uh, for the month of April. We can't, this show can't go without you. We're like Steel Toe. We do need your money. I'm just not going to constantly bring it up to you and beg and beg and beg. The turn. See, that sounds too, that sounds too Michelle Obama for me. The turnt? <laughs> the turnt. <laughs> if you're amongst the turnt, you can join us. <laughs> the turnt? It's good because it rhymes with burnt. I'm disappointed in you, Patrick. You're, uh, or you're blaming me for not babysitting a tard. I'm not his dad. Yes, you are, surely. Hey, buddy. Yeah, at the end of the day, at some point, you know, it is all Ray's fault. I also paid off uh, uh, Pat Dixon last night for his bet. I'd rather just be a loser. We said if April comes back anytime before May 4th, I win. I I just paid him last night. I was like, fuck it, I lost. April's gone. She quit. I'll take the L. I don't want to be like Kevin weaseling out of my bets. You know, trying to trying to cover my ass. So I'd rather I just paid it. He's got it. You know. Also, is my chance to show up. Bentley. Bentley's over there dropping fifties, looking like the superstar. I go over there. I super tip tip chat. Uh, or I super tip Pat. A uh, hundred bucks. You know. So I look like a really cool high roller. And then I had to send him fifteen more to make up for the commission that uh, Moody steals. You know. Moody just scrapes off everyone's fucking money. Mersh's journal. <laughs> April 16th, 2024. Slept all day. Woke up at four. Ah. Landlady complaining about the smell. Soon it will be dark and my work will begin. I don't want to live in this world anymore. A co-host has died in Minnesota. And somebody knows why. I don't want to live in a world anymore where, like, people argue about, like, who's a better person, Mersh or I. Look, if you, I, again, I want to punch anybody in the nose who thinks Mersh is funnier than me. Like, obviously, I'd like to drag you behind a car, um, National Lampoon's Vacation style. But, you know, comedy's in the eye of the beholder, so I can't really begrudge anybody that. But, like, when people are like, Melton's a piece of shit compared to Mersh. It's like, again, this guy has a history of like the last decade, every six months, needing to beg for money to live, for rent, for like wheels, for like, you know, food. <laughs> I'm like, I've never done this in my life. In my life. In my life. And again, you know, uh, props to anybody who's ever had to go through that kind of stuff. But like, it's a, it's a poor... He's a poor planner and poor manager of resources. He's a lazy loser who's never had a job or, or worked in his life. Strip clubs and pussy. My car needs wheels, so I'm gonna, I, I want my podcast listeners, listeners to buy my wheels. I got drunk and wrecked, and wrecked my car into a wall, so I need my podcast listeners to help get it out of the impound and fix it up. I need money for rent. I need money for my apartment. I need money for this. I need, I can't afford cat food. You know, I mean, if you can't afford cat food, hang it up. <laughs> hang it up. <laughs> Somebody said, wait, you aren't Merce? <laughs> ah, fucking hell. I mean, it just gets, it gets to be too much. I know we look alike. I know we're both fat, neck bearded losers. Can you? I've never once in my life asked you to help me buy tires. I do need a rim repair. <laughs> but then you like, hey, I wrecked. I, I'm an alcoholic and wrecked my car. I need your help. I need your help to get my car out of the impound so I can get back to my show and talk shit about everybody else. I black out smoking weed on the rag, by the way. On the rag, female cop, female cop. It's not even the first time. There's, like, compilations of Mersh, like, having episodes live on the show. It just, you know, that's that that stings. That really stings. But, yeah, no, I guess we're the same. I guess we're the same. <laughs> ah! 
So last night, uh, Steel Toe. Look, yesterday's Steel Toe morning show was pretty uneventful. Aaron and uh, Johnny crutching it up. Last night, I mean, I was talking to Moody about it. The beauty of within a one-hour program, within by the way, within the first half of a one-hour program, Moody self-diagnoses himself as a narcissist, proclaims that he's going to get therapy for it, decides he can actually probably uh, give himself self-therapy, work his own way through this narcissism thing, and then refers to the narcissism as if it was in the past tense. Within 30 minutes, he does this. He says, look, yeah, like I said, I was a narcissist. Well, I am. I mean, I am. I still am. It's like, you still are? From when you admitted it 20 minutes ago? But it's it's a beautiful, beautiful thing to unpack. And then you, you fast forward, of course, to, to last night with Matt. Now, again, I don't think... Aaron views Johnny as a peer. Johnny's kind of like this cripple he brings in and tosses a few bones to. But he talks to Matt and Johnny very differently. And again, Johnny has kids. I imagine maybe he was married, divorced. I don't know. Maybe he's just, um, again, imagine Johnny Crutch is knocking you up and you deciding to keep the baby. You know, he'll be a good father and provide. He'll be good. I heard he makes 50 bucks a week from the Steel Toe Morning Show and disability. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let him come in you. <laughs> I mean, how does that even happen? Is it, how do you grab hips and crutches at the same time to pump a load into a lady? You tell me. It's almost like she has to have handlebars put in there. Love handlebars. Anyway, he gets mad on there, and he always talks so cool and, uh, you know, different with Matt than he does with Johnny. And last night... it. It was like he never admitted he was a narcissist and he was back to steel toe wins. He was right back in that mindset of I'm the best. I don't know what to tell you guys. It's a sad way to go through life thinking I'm not the best. Hello. You know that real narcissists don't admit to being narcissists. I don't think you know that. Uh, well, I think that, and somebody in the chat pointed this out. Aaron thinks that he's Patrick Bateman from uh, American Psycho. Yeah, yeah. And he's cosplaying as Patrick Bateman right now. So right now we're going through the I'm the Patrick I'm Patrick Bateman main character cool guy story arc. Do you think he um you think he covers his whole house in plastic and puts on Eric Church and murders bitches? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He doesn't know that everybody in that movie and in the book thinks that Patrick Bateman is a total douchebag and everybody hates him. I don't know. Did you see those bone business cards? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. But, uh, uh, yeah. yeah no, he thinks he's Patrick Bateman. Yeah, but there's people who call up and go like, no, narcissists love saying that they're narcissists. And then we have people going like, no, narcissists never admit they're narcissists. It's like you both can't be right. Somebody's right. But um uh, right now he thinks he's Patrick Bateman and uh he's in his Patrick Bateman main character arc. That's all. All right, thanks. Yeah, I think, um, like I said, if she's not there, he's using the show as this communication tool. He's saying what he thinks she wants to hear. I'm working on myself. I'm getting therapy. I want to do better. April's the best. This is great for her. I want her to be happy. April comes first. It All that, again, all the contrition, all the fake... Uh, apologies, all the accountability, everything that was there Sunday night vanished Monday night. And it turned, it literally turned into, into him going like, I win, Steel Toe wins, this, was, this is what we wanted, we're actually the best now, April's gone, fuck yeah, the boys are back, Steel Toe rules. <laughs> like, it really is. It really is. The whole vibe is, is, ah, ha, ha. You guys believed me. I win. And we're going to watch it. I'm going to prove it to you here today. Um, and this is only on Rumble because they have been suspended for this show for seven days from YouTube. Now, the beautiful thing is, 
Aaron is still so bad at YouTube and and unwilling to listen. Again, I've offered this man the whole prize night thing, the whole, uh, you know, arguing about the prize nights and the legality of it and everything. There's so much that, like, he could fix if he would just open his ears and listen. He's going to start giving away Midland Armory gift cards again. This is, a, this is, again, you cannot have a monetized video where you're giving away or sponsored by an ammunition and firearm company. Sorry, it's just a rule. It's just one of the rules. And every time you publish a YouTube video, you have to go in and check off boxes in the back end. What's in this video? Foul language, um, political stuff, firearms related things, um, sexual content, things that maybe is it safe for children. You have to go through, if you've never published a YouTube video, you have to go through and like tell them everything about your video. These are the, the meta data essentially of what's in the video and what you check off determines how that video can and if that video can be monetized. And the minute you start doing anything with firearms and stuff, you can't monet it just like cannot be monetized. But the beauty of Steel Toe is he doesn't have to follow the rules everyone else follows. So he doesn't check any of those boxes. He uses foul language every show. He doesn't check that box. He has sponsored content every show. He doesn't check that box. He, he advertises firearms, sexual, trans stuff, political stuff. He doesn't check those boxes. Now, all those boxes guide you to advertisers and campaigns that, are, that have opted in to be on those types of videos. I want to be on political videos. I want to be on comedy videos. I want to be on uh, videos in inappropriate language. I want to be on videos with sexual innuendo. I want to be on. So, so that's what those boxes do. He just doesn't do any of it. And it's not checked that closely, so he gets away with it. But he's so dumb that when he plays these these videos, like last night he played a video, I guess, of some like Muslim guy beating a Christian guy or anything. Anyway, they're over there this morning coping big time. Like, you know, it was a YouTube video we played, and then we got struck striked off YouTube. That doesn't make any sense. They're so biased against the toe. They're after the toe. We took a YouTube video, it was already on YouTube, and then we played it on our show. And then we got struck for a community guideline strike. What the fuck? That's so unfair. The video was already on YouTube. Why did we get a strike? Because you didn't check the right boxes, you stupid fuck. They checked the boxes on that video that said it had violence in it. They checked the boxes that said it had political rhetoric. They checked the boxes that said it was religious. You know what I mean? Like, fuck. I wonder why theirs didn't get flagged. It's unfair. YouTube's not, they don't do everything by the book. You don't check the boxes. You're supposed to check, you fucking idiot. You're dumb. You're dumb. This is your job. You claim to read. You claim to understand. It, it, you don't get these community guideline strikes if you check the right boxes. You're right. It doesn't make sense. How did we lose our channel for playing a video that's already on YouTube? That's not fair. How did that happen? Right. Right. How did it happen? He's not interested in an answer. He's interested in it being unfair to steal toe. Just another example of how they're coming after the toe. No, you and your dumb wife never, ever, ever learned how to do this. You and your stupid bitch wife have had your head in the sand and don't know what you're doing. A hundred percent, if you would have gone through that and checked off the appropriate boxes, you would have not gotten that community guideline strike, but you're dumb. You're fucking dumb. So it shall be one week of them over there on Rumble going like, YouTube makes no sense. YouTube really fucks with creators. YouTube's inconsistent with their policies. You're dumb. <laughs> You're fucking dumb. You're just dumb. So keep wondering what did it. Keep wondering. I, I, I just, fuck. It gets painful. <laughs> Here they are, Matt and Mooby, Monday, Matt and Mooby on a Monday. Wait until you see this. 
Rumble only. And then again, he, he this morning he's like, we're on Rumble, so you can say all the words, faggot, whatever, you know. It's like, I want to be as retarded as you. I want to be as dumb as you. I want to be so dumb that I just keep saying faggot to say faggot. I mean, I mean, really, really. I. It's it's the mind of a child. He he goes over on Rumble. He's like, guys, we're on Rumble, so we can say faggot. I wonder why your parents don't talk to you anymore. What a fucking loser. What a loser. <laughs> Guys, and we are on Rumble, so let the F slurs fly. What a cool fucking guy. I hope your wife doesn't leave you. Jesus Christ. It, it really is painful, man. And I can't I can't do it anymore where I sit and watch these tool two got tool guys. Two guys hold thin cans of energy drinks pretending to be edgelords. I, I can't. I can't look at another man holding a Virginia Slim can of pomegranate, cherry, whatever the fuck it is, telling me how 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 it is. I mean, fuck if I'm going to let you wag a raspberry seltzer at me. You fucking losers. I, I don't even, uh, why would you make, they're for women. They're for women, these cans. They're for women. Look how big around they are. That's not for a man to grip. I shouldn't be able to grab a can and my fingers overlap while I take a sip. I'm going to wrap my hands around this Red Bull. Fucking idiots. I mean, they, they really do drink the, the, the gayest drinks for people who do nothing but gay bash. I've never seen a gay man with this with with a a little fucking firecracker of a drink like this. I, no wonder he needs April for refills all the time. He's constantly drinking four ounce drinks. <laughs> Here we go, Steel Toe Morning Shoe. Fuckers, how you doing? It's the Steel Toe Evening Show. Your baby goats? Are they being baby fucked? goats? My baby goats. You furry little baby. Oh yeah, you got to hear this. Listen to this right out of the gate. Hey, you furry little goat fuckers. How you doing? It's the Steel Toe Evening Show. Your baby goats? Are they being fucked? Baby goats, my baby goats. You furry little baby goat Boy, fuckers. Boy, it, it sure is nice to be sleeping in my own bed so I'm not sleep deprived and saying things like baby goats in the middle of the show. <laughs> and then he follows that up with this. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. We don't add anything on to that. It's so good to be sleeping in my own bed so I'm not sleep deprived. Why hasn't he been sleeping in his own bed? Again, maybe maybe we don't have to look into everything like this, but why hasn't he been sleeping in his own bed? Hey, can that was a fun can, little can, thing. I, what? Turn my headphones up. Yeah, can you actually? What headphone are you? I don't know. You, what headphone are you? There's two guys. One of them set everything up, and the guy who set everything up and whose house and studio it is doesn't know how to turn up the other guy's headphones. Which headphones are you? How would I even do that? That's follow the cord. That's for you to know. I'm a and then he talks to him like an idiot. Why don't you follow the cord and figure it out? Under that. Hey, can that was a fun can, little can, thing. I, what? Turn my headphones up. Yeah, can you actually? What headphone are you? I don't know. That's for follow you. the cord. That's for you to know. I'm assuming it's number two, right? That's for me am to I, know. Am I you, this one? That's your mic. I, okay, so can I just do that? If oh, you. Oh, oh, uh, I like that. I like okay. that a lot. Are you good? God, you jacked that up really high. Are you deaf? Like well, yes, have, I, I mean, so I'm looking forward to the new show where these two get used to each other and Mooby gets annoyed by everything Matt does. Strap in. And do you have hearing well, that problems? Is a little loud. Jesus Christ. I work in an industrial environment, and also when I had the criticism of Matt screaming into the fucking microphone, overmodulating, I can't hear it because you know, Matt said microphone. <laughs> and also, he wore this. He only has one shirt, I think. He wears it every week on the show. 
make gas cans pure again or something. Make gas cans cheap again, full again, something. You know, again, ver a very Minnesota, very funny political comedy shirt. <laughs> Minnesota fucking... Uh, uh, and they're just stuck in the 90s, these guys. They're just stuck in the 90s. Minnesota's just in the 90s, man. Natural oak furniture, you know, fucking, uh, they're li he literally, like, has paused his life and worships 2005 Anthony Cumia. You know what people so say quiet. about you? You know what the number one complaint about you is? I'm an obnoxious asshole. You scream too much. They say you yell too much. Okay. That's uh, that's the let's, number one let's... complaint ever. Well, it's already started. He's doing the same thing he did to Matt, uh, did to April to Matt, <laughs> where he's just gonna start telling Matt everything the chat says bad about Matt to try to make him again. This is how Chad builds himself up. Same with movie. He's got to push other people down. How can Chad's podcast get more listeners? Ray needs to quit. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's Received work on you. making me a better broadcaster. You know what? If I'm going places right now to make myself a better human being, you can go places to make yourself a better broadcaster. It's here. So again, it's been 24 hours since Mubi announced he was a narcissist, and now he's already telling you that he's going to places to get better. Again, it's a fat girl who hasn't even started the diet, and she, she wants you to give her credit for losing weight. Guys, not everybody can be like me, taking time to work on themselves, right? I'm a, I'm a special creation of God's God's little wonders. I just, Tuesday night. I just like feeding <laughs> the internet subtleties that yeah. they can run with. It's just no. a fun game to play with. I you like guys. this. It's more gooder. I got I got Is more it? I got more sound <laughs> in the in the ear holes. Yes. K McDuck says I like your yelling, Matt. Chris says Matt is perfect. See, but uh, yes, what we need most from Matt is more volume, says MCNC. Now, Moody pointed this out last night, and you would have noticed on your own, Matt is so new to this and so self-conscious, and once I point this out to you, you're never, ever going to be able to unsee it, so I do apologize. He never, and I mean never, takes his eyes off the chat. You think Moody's, or sorry, Moody, Moody's narcissistic, constantly checking the chat rather than his own wife for for what he's doing to her matt never stops watching that chat and by the way this is this is the sign of an amateur broadcaster and this is why every time Mubi tells you he's amazing it's very funny because he can't ignore the chat now Again, when, when I bring comics in here and people uh, guest on this program, I don't allow them to see the chat. It drives them crazy. They don't understand. Can you put the chat up here? No, you suck at that. Don't worry about the chat. I need you to be present and do a show. They're all so worried about the real-time feedback they're getting from the chat. It's just like it's the number one thing that will make you not do a good show. Is constantly reading your chat. Again, I'm able to do it, but I've practiced a long time, and I don't have to react to every little fucking thing. I'm also able to pocket something and come back to it. These guys can't hide it. They'll watch the chat room the whole time, and they have to react to everything. They have to react to everything. And so Matt's mind shall not be on the show. It should not be okay, to do a show with someone. You have to listen and talk, listen and talk. It's a, it's a give and a get. It's a push and a pull. If you're constantly worried about the chat room, that dynamic goes out the window. And it's the number one thing that these live shows do not recognize and put their foot down to, to knock out. You cannot let an amateur have a chat room in front of them while you're trying to talk to them. You cannot do it. It can't be done. And if you do do it, you shall get this. Watch Matt now. You'll, you'll notice it. He never stops reading the chat, and therefore he's not present. So you just get, uh-huh, yeah, uh, 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 uh. Fuck. No, I need it in my headphones so I don't give you too much. That's Turn my headphones up. up. Yes. Look at Matt. 
Look at them both. So this is the new show. Where they're, they're literally just going to stare at the chat the whole show. Uh. Where my motherfucking headphones? Yeah. <laughs> Where's that snare? Uh. What's what's going on? <laughs> oh, I had to break it to a coworker today of how douchey Eminem has become. She had no idea. Oh, she didn't, no girls don't know Eminem sucks. Oh now. my god, don't she? Girls don't know Eminem sucks now. This ought to be great. He did not know. I played her like a minute and a half of his freestyle video he did in that parking ramp. Oh, the cipher. Trump. Yeah, yeah. That, by the way, it wasn't a freestyle. It was a produced video. It was written ahead of time. He um. First of all, be careful who you allege those those charges at because Mo- Movie did the same thing a couple weeks ago. Wanted us all to believe he was freestyling when it was a clearly written cipher, and he still sucked. Oh, the, and, whole, the yeah. whole part where he's like, "Oh, wait!" wait. It is amazing because uh, before she met me, and I even now don't think mm. she knows. Yeah. Before she met me, April didn't know Eminem sucked. Oh, Eminem's fucking terrible. Before she met me, April didn't know Eminem sucked. I mean, this doesn't... We're not even talking about Eminem anymore. Listen to that statement. Before she met me, she didn't know Eminem sucked. I've had to set her straight about a lot of stuff. He's fucking off. He's been bad for at least 10 years. Way more than 10 years. Probably 15 years. Mm -hmm. Since the Eminem show, really. And uh, the Eminem show is in the 90s, right? The Eminem show uh, is in the 90s. This proves my point. These guys are stuck in the 90s. Yeah, she didn't know that he sucked. Like, her Eminem that she would listen to, I'm Mm -hmm. like... I'm like, bitch, have you ever listened to the Marshall Mathers LP? Like, that's, first of all, that's the best Eminem album yeah. of all time. Uh-huh. These guys are stuck. What happened in Minnesota? The Marshall Mathers, Slim Shady? Slim Shady. He's stuck on Slim Shady Eminem. D12 is too far gone for him, too advanced. But he thinks by D12, Eminem jumped the shark. The best Eminem album was The Eminem Show. Like, motherfucker, you ever listen to Amityville? You ever listen to Drug Ballad? Get the fuck out of here. What are you listening to? Let me guess. Aaron likes anything that, like, is about cutting up a woman or telling a woman what's what, right? He liked all the, like, uh, Eminem and Kim and them. Oh, no, this one with Rihanna is great. Get the fuck out of here. Play Kim. Oh, he's... Yes, that's what he li- That's what he likes. He likes the ones where he, like, shoves women in his trunk and takes the kids. Come with me, Charlotte. Trash-talking people who are not wearing masks in that video. Yeah. It's like, go just, back to when so you... It's so fucking cringe. Go back to when you said, my words are like a dagger with a jagged edge that'll stab you in the head whether you're a fag or less. <laughs> <laughs> he needs to get back to rapping about stabbing homosexuals, right, Matt? <laughs> Homos- I liked it when he was talking about stabbing homosexuals. <laughs> Trans people, too. Oh, my God. It's so funny to hurt those people I don't understand. <laughs> I don't have a problem with fags as long as they don't try to sleep with me. Am I right, Aaron? <laughs> Ugh. Oh, no, this one with Rihanna is great. Get the fuck out of here. Play Kim. Oh, he's trash-talking people who are not wearing masks in that video. Yeah. Like, it's go just, back to when so you... It's so fucking cringe. Go back to when you said, my words are like a dagger with a jagged edge that'll stab you in the head whether you're a fag or less. <laughs> <laughs> Homosex, hermaphrodite, transvest. <laughs> oh, look at Matt. He's leaning back. Oh, shit. Yeah, we, we, we should stab all the fags and trans. That was a great, great banger. They're stuck. They're stuck. They're xenophobic idiots. They're just fucking stuck. 
It's, it's, how you, it's how you think April's the hottest girl in the world. You're stuck. You're stuck. <laughs> I, I, don't know, I don't know what's happened in Minnesota. I don't know if they've just cordoned off a small portion of the internet for you guys. I don't know, I don't know what you think is going on. You're stuck in 2002. We, we, are, we are fucking five minutes into a show, and they're like, bring back stabbing gays and trans people. God, I love Rumble. Rumble's great. <laughs> I saw one of them on my way here. Uh, what was it? Uh, I saw one of them on my way here, Matt just said. I saw one of those fag trans on the way here. I saw one. Hate eggs the answers yes <laughs> and he is homophobic so he just goes hate fags the answers yes he's reveling in this he's rolling around in it i mean again i'm all for a joke this is pure homophobia this is pure transphobia pure 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 <laughs> i do stab fags and les <laughs> <laughs> it's a good point I mean, this is just hate. This is just, I don't understand, so I hate. I'm proud about it. And, and more importantly, thinks this, this is going to get him back on terrestrial. And thinks this shouldn't follow April around. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You are garbage people. You and your fucking whore wife, April. You're garbage people with garbage thoughts and garbage opinions. You all day long sat around mocking minorities, making fun of blacks for the color of their skin. Again, Aaron M. Hall, glass houses, motherfucker. How dare you try to make fun of black fathers when you left your kid before it was fucking born? Hello? Hello? Tell me more about how blacks are fucking up. You left your daughter in the womb. Hello? Black dad stick around to look at it before they leave. Who's the piece of shit? Who needs to examine themselves? Who's the piece of shit? Yesterday you said, I'm a fantastic, I'm a stellar father. You left your daughter before she took her first breath. Again, does Emily know her dad? Or does she think that new man squirting in your ex is her dad? Does Emily Imholt know her father? Does she know her father took the fuck off before she was born? Tell me again how you're a stellar dad. Tell me again. When you weren't there ever, ever from the germination of this bitch. <laughs> Run it by me again, terrific dad. No, I bet I, I bet she calls you Aaron. I bet she calls you Aaron. Nah, you just heterophobic, staring at my jeans, watching my genitals bulging. That's my motherfucking balls. You better let go of them. They belong in my scrotum. You'll Matt's leaning back, cackling at this funny rap from the 90s. From the 90s. Again, I think I, I, I saw Eminem and Ice, Ice T on Warp Tour singing this. So, Aaron's hearing the words to, like, Amityville and, and laughing like it's a new song. These, these are 20, 25 years old. They're laughing at Eminem lyrics from the 2000s. Laughing out loud. They're like, remember what he said? I mean, fuck, when Minnesota gets Lil Dicky, it's going to be over. It's going to be over. He's going to fall down. He's going to fall down going... Yo, Lil Dicky's actually like the new Eminem. Never get a hold of him. How fucking Somebody awesome! Somebody got is that? him. You know, they got him when they killed him and cloned him. Is that what? Is that what they did? That's that's when a, he that's a conspiracy. Like they killed him. And there's yeah. there's famous people they've killed off 
whoever they are, they've killed them. Yeah. And these are clones that we now have. The Kaczynski people that Kaczynski would talk about. Do you know one of uh, one of Kaczynski? Somebody told me this on Twitter this weekend. Yeah. Do you know what one of Ted Kaczynski's biggest gripes is that led him to bomb people? What? That the birds were mimicking car alarms. By the way, he announced April is off the show. Every comment, a troll or an insult. Every comment. He did this big. For the last three years, I've never been more proud and and impressed by a woman than my wife April M. Holt, a partner. A wife, a friend, a lover, a comic mind, a genius, a mother. Uh, he wrote this long, sappy post. Not one. I, I couldn't believe. I was dying. For a guy who constantly tells you how well everything's going. Not one real comment. Not one. Not one comment going, we loved April. We wish it was all j- most of them going like, stop tagging her and bring her up. She doesn't want to talk about Steel Town stuff. Leave her alone. She wants out. Leave her alone. He's trying to draw this out. Talking about April, tagging April. Now, listen, I don't ever want you to stop. Tag April. April underscore M Holt. April M Holt STMS at gmail.com. April Anderson. Mama! I, I couldn't believe it. Not one. Every fucking, every fucking reply was a troll. Who's this guy think is listening to his show? How, who does this guy think he is? It's so insane. Matt, all right. You're the co-host now. You got a yes and. You guys, right now, you just yes. Uh, please add something and expand on what I talk about. <laughs> uh, yes. God damn it, Matt. This is my banter. Good one, boss. <laughs> I need you to shut the fuck up. <laughs> it's a good show, man. I'd love to set up a booth at Hackamania to sell my award-winning book. If you could provide a ticket, that would be wonderful, as I already have a roommate to share hotel room costs. Um, oh, yes. Uh, since Scrimp has greatly disappointed me, Ashley LaRue is my new daughter. We are going to raid the mini bar. Go see Chumley and laugh at my former son-in-law's limp wrist. Do you know a place to get possum in Las Vegas, Melton? Jesus My Christ. nephew Ray Ray told me he was a narcissist once. Uncle Leroy Chang pulled out his nunchucks from behind the deep fryer and smashed him in his grill. He told that boy not to use fancy book learning terms around this house and get to the gas station and bring him some hash browns. Jesus Christ. I... I I I want to taste one of these gas station hash browns so badly. How good are these things? I I, I picture it's like cold. It's all grease. You know, like, I don't know how they cook them, whether they fry them in grease or they're like a microwaved thing. But, you know, they're like soggy and limp. Just, just like wet potatoes holding hands. And he thought that was like technology and shit gone too far. <laughs> and he's like, I got to fucking blow some shit up, bro. Wasn't the car alarms mimic the birds? The birds were mimicking the car alarms. Dude, I took a video of one, put it up on Twitter this weekend. I had one imitating a black person's uh, smoke detector chirping. <laughs> Listen to that. Listen to that. Again, I had a video of a bird imitating a black person's smoke detector chirping. Black people have the same smoke detectors white people have. It's just a smoke detector, man. It's just a smoke detector. Did you see the video of a bird imitating a black person's smoke detector going off? Dude, I've seen white ones before. This was a black person's smoke detector. A black person had a smoke detector going off and a bird... Dude, it was a black person. It's like, I can't, he's not even subtle. You know what I mean? He's not even subtle. I wish he would wander down to that Mall of America and just head up to the third floor where that toddler got thrown off a while back. (laughs) 
and set up a little table and just start doing his Minnesota racist morning show right there on the third floor. Do it while all the Somalis are walking by. See what happens. Sit down, sir. Tell me about your smoke detector. You're a black. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, God. I'd, I'd pay to watch movie get his whole ass kicked by gays. I, he thinks he's so tough and better than gays, you know, for no reason. <laughs> it's legit. I'll play it in a little oh, bit. I believe it. I believe it. Have you seen, uh, you're not a big Twitter guy, but have you seen the edits they've been making of you and I celebrating? I caught a couple of those that you had played. Okay. Uh, just a couple, like two, I think is all. All right. So if there's more that are great. Yeah, they're good. Yeah, I'd love to see one. Uh, Drew. So that was a segment on the show. Have you seen these clips people are making of us? Yeah. Yeah, they're great. All right, Drew. Uh, you're not going to show any or anything? Just wanted to bring it up. Dude, have you seen that crazy video where this happens? No. Why? What What? what happened? Oh, dude, you got to see it. It's crazy. Can we watch it? No. Anyway, Drew in the chat. <laughs> Like, okay. With nine ninety nine, thank you very much, buddy. So we're starting at two forty five this evening. Let's knock out our two forty five, and we'll go till ten o'clock. Not nine thirty, ten o'clock. Change that number, Aaron. I'll change it in a little bit. Did he just have a breakdown? Did he just have a stroke? Two forty five. We need to get two fifty. Let's get two fifty. We'll go to ten o'clock. Not nine thirty, Aaron. Change that to ten o'clock. I'll change it later. Did you just yell at yourself, answer yourself, and have a breakdown? Did you just snap at yourself and answer yourself live on your own program? Not 930, Aaron. Change that. I'll get it changed. Thanks. <laughs> you guys throw in on PayPal, Streamlabs, and all that stuff. And uh, it's going to be a rough night for me. Yeah, they're good. Yeah, I'd love to see one. Uh, Drew with 999. Thank you very much, buddy. So we're starting at 245 this evening. Let's knock out our 245 and we'll go till 10 o'clock. Not 930, 10 o'clock. Change that number, Aaron. I'll change it in a little bit. <laughs> Fuck. That's funny. That's funny. We're going to go till 10 o'clock. Not 930, Aaron. Change that. I'll change it in a little bit. <laughs> are, are you okay? Are you all right? <laughs> he's like he's not got april anymore he's telling himself to do stuff and then he's telling himself he'll do it later <laughs> he's the new april we got to get those things mailed out i'll do it later <laughs> Thank you very much, buddy. So we're starting at 2.45 this evening. Let's knock out our 2.45, and we'll go till 10 o'clock. Not 9.30, 10 o'clock. Change that number, Aaron. I'll change it in a little bit. <laughs> Fuck. I just love that. I just love that. Change that number, Aaron. I'll change it in a little bit. Okay. I don't know if you're supposed to switch. I don't know if you're supposed to give different personalities the light that quickly. <laughs> You guys throw in on PayPal, Streamlabs, and all that stuff, and uh, it's gonna be a rough night for me. Why? Ten o'clock is gonna be a. Is that gonna, well, you can go at nine thirty if you no, need to. No, I have to stick it out. Oh, I got I got the stick to itiveness of an oh, you. ambitious young broadcaster. <laughs> all right, so Matt's moving around an imaginary dick while he does this again. Tell me these guys don't have autism. I have the stick to itiveness of a young. Eager broadcaster. It's like, are you shifting a truck right now? What's this hand doing? I had a stick-to-itiveness of a young... I, I, if you make the palm flat, he's retarded. Somehow this is a, this is a guy who works at a machine shop who's cool and rustic. I had a stick to of a young broadcaster. If you make that hand flat, he's retarded. I got a stick to of a young... <laughs> Check it out. You don't believe me? Watch watch his wacky fist. 9.30, 10 o'clock. Change that number, Aaron. I'll change it in a little bit. You guys throw in on PayPal, Streamlabs, and all that stuff. And uh it's gonna be a rough night for me. Why? 10 o'clock is gonna be a is gonna... watch the hand. Well, you can go at 9.30 if you no, need to. No, I have to stick it out. Oh. I got I got the stick to itiveness of an uh, you. ambitious young broadcaster. 
Yes. Well, you have to, uh, you know, I, I'm not going to, you know, I am going to kick you out eventually. You know, I do have to sleep in my own bed tonight. I meant just while the show is on. I'll, I'll fuck off after the show. That's fine. Hold on, dude. So I think the joke is Matt and Aaron went out Saturday night and Aaron crashed at Matt's house. But again, this is what leads me to believe that April's not around. Last week, he gets his kids every other weekend. Last weekend was his weekend with the kids. April wasn't there. She was at Mama's. This weekend, he didn't have the kids, and he was out with Matt Friday night or uh, Saturday night, and I think he crashed at Matt's house. I'm not trying to put my wiener in your uh, butt. I need to sh- I'm not trying to put my wiener in your butt. I mean, this is Bill Engvall level comedy. The minute I hear a grown man say wiener, I can't. I can't. Wiener. Wiener. This is a, a 40-year-old man saying wiener. I, I mean, again, I know dick isn't very, you know, pleasant to hear in public. I can't take any adult man seriously who says wiener, much less I didn't put my wiener in your butt. Kick you out eventually. You know, I do have to sleep in my own bed tonight. I meant just while the show is on. I'll, I'll fuck off after the show. That's fine. I'm not trying to put my wiener in your Uh-oh. butt. I need- I'm not trying to put my wiener in your butt. Again, it must be so insulting to gay people. <laughs> like, if I was gay, if, from your mouth to God's ears, if I was gay and I heard this idiot talking about my people, like I'd just be like, yeah, that's what we do. We put wieners in butts, you fucking nerd. I got to get my wiener hard and put it in your butt. I mean, I mean, what a fuck. If there's ever, if you've ever wondered if a guy did that, I mean, it's, it's a guy who talks like that. It's a guy who talks like that. Nothing, nothing's ever sounded gayer, ironically. Can I put my wiener in your butt? I need to sh- Honestly, I need to shut the fuck up. This is what I need to do. Okay. I need to shut the fuck up. Uh, I am a sick man says, is that what you think his number one problem is? Then you haven't been reading chat. Who's number one problem? Wait, Eminem? Wait, or Matt? Oh, Matt. Oh, you're talking about Matt's biggest problem. My ba- What's my biggest uh, oh. I heard Aaron say he's going to destroy Jake Shields. The fucking ROTC didn't run their goddamn mouths about. Would you not? Not only is Matt's phone going off in the middle of a show. He's chosen a ringtone that that sounds like a 90s office phone. I can I can't wait for uh Aaron to get Aaron's going to get fed up with this idiot. You know, it took him a long time to get April trained to all his little idiosyncrasies. Uh, oh. I heard Aaron say he's going to destroy Jake Shields. The fucking ROTC didn't run their goddamn mouths about would you know? Corporate accounts payable, Nina speaking. Just a moment. Corporate accounts payable, Nina speaking. Just a moment. Right? I mean, listen to that ring. Uh, oh. I heard Aaron say he's going to destroy Jake Shields. The fucking ROTC didn't run their goddamn mouths about. Would you not in the middle of the fucking show? I, I, I... And again, all Aaron can do is check the chat. Oh, my God. They're hating this, right? They're hating this. And Matt never takes his eyes off the chat. So, of course, Matt's looking at the chat. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. I'm not used to doing shows, so I don't uh, to turn my phone off. This is great. Again, these are the two best people he can find. Johnny Crutches and this fucking idiot. Again, I can't find anybody good or they'd be in here. So, I don't have anyone in here. I don't have anyone in here. And again, I have friends in Vegas who are comics. They don't, I, I'm, I'm serious. They either don't have the work ethic or they're not good enough. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know, and I got friends. They want to come in and do the show. Cool. Alex Ansel, Kool-Aid. Again, I like these people. No, no one will get up and come do They Again, they'd all rather go make $50 and have 17 other comics watch them at a wing store than, than do anything that gets them thousands and thousands of people watching them. It's more important to look 
Like a real same with Ray, right? Ray doesn't need a house or money. <laughs> he needs to go up four nights a week. He's not worried about anything else. He needs to look like he's doing comedy. That's the number one priority for a fucking comic. To look like they're doing comedy. That's what Chad that's why Chad went to Winter Haven, Florida for four hundred dollars this past weekend. Yeah. Yeah, 400 fucking dollars. Drive hours and hours, hours and hours back for 400 fucking dollars. Why? He needs the money? No, but what else is he going to do? He's got to look like he's doing comedy. He's got to look like he's doing comedy. I can't, there's no, no one's interested in doing a podcast for thousands of people and making money. No one. They're interested in going out to a bar at midnight and letting other people see them get on stage and do three minutes of new jokes they just wrote. It's the most important thing to them. They, if, if you offered them $300 to do MLC one afternoon, they'd be like, no, I have to drive to St. George, Utah. I have a gig tonight. And you'd be like, really? What are you doing? They're like, well, I'm doing a guest set for $100 plus some wings. They blow you off. I'm I'm not even kidding. I've watched it happen again and again and again. And even and and they'll take that seriously. They they won't be late. They'll be on time. Your podcast, they'll stroll in late. They won't give a fuck. I mean, it just the priorities are all out of whack for these idiots. You can't help them. You can't do anything about it. They want to look like comics. That's the number one fucking concern. Ray will die in that basement of his mom's friend if if he can die looking like he had a show last night. Bacon soda, cocaine, how sweet. I need to find me a crack pipe and I'm complete. I got these crack dealers chasing me through the cement jungle because they gave me shit to sell. And yo, I smoked the whole bundle. It's true. That's pretty cool. Hey, hit the like button. We're hitting we're hit, uh, 600 viewers. We're slugging along this morning. Why don't you hit that like button, help the show out, help the algorithm. You know, I heard if you hit the like button, they tell people about the program. Uh, Shit show. Hey, Patrick, can you call Adam and ask him how to stop the waiting feed from switching to the 24-7 stream? Thanks, big guy. Again, that's not me. That's your, it's a browser thing. It's you. Um, so, you know. There's not, it's not, there's not like a button I push in the back. that's like, send him away. Uh, Bentley, uh, $10 wiener. The correct pron- pronunciation is tally whacker. I like to call it my pud. You guys seen my pud? Pud. You guys like my pud? Pud. 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 Check out my pud. 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 Uh, Moody, I don't think you spent enough time looking at that. I'm going to need you to shut the fuck up from Aaron to Matt. It's so disrespectful. That's not how friends talk to each other. Aaron thinks so lowly of Matt, and Matt doesn't res- uh, self-respect. For him. Hey, Moody, I'm going to need you to stop uh, free super tipping. I know you built it, but you don't get a, you don't get a take advantage of just you know, fast tracking your thoughts to me because you have access to the system. So you 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 throw in three dollars like the rest of these fucking people who support this program. You're not better because you volunteer time and energy. You think I give one? F- Please don't uh, uh, take it away. Please don't. I as I was saying this, I realized you could probably shut it all down, and I don't want to get it. I don't want to get it taken away. Uh, Roger, uh, uh, Roberto, Roberto Rogers. Is KM on the Hackamania lineup? Who's KM? Uh, Pig Riser, new member. Kevin, who's KM? Butch Bradley, member for five months. Uh, first time, long time. He has been visiting the ex at her mom's in Litchfield and so tired that he sleeps in the Suburban after being let out to the, out the house. He being let out the house. Leave me a letter at the house. Moody is so rich. I mean, he just, you know, he thinks his comments are so important. He just gets to skip the line. That, that I don't like that. I don't like that entitlement. Uh, big if true, Butch Bradley. Ozone gifting 10 membership. <laughs> wow. O- 
Ozone's going to go on the old wall of honor. How about you? Get no, the- thank you. I'd prefer to keep doing the free ones. I'm glad it was blocked. I'm going to need you to build a way for me to block you. That's what I'm going to need you to do. That's, got, that's a feature we're building anyway. We're building in a feature for blocking people anyway. So I'd, I'd like to. All right. Keep doing the free ones. You forget who has access to all the funds. I'll take it all. I'll take all the money out of the, out of the business. You forget where the business is set up and who has access. Oh, wait. You, do you have access to the money? Could you withdraw the money? I don't, it's bad that I don't know what Moody can do, isn't it? That's where they get their power, though. You not knowing, you know? He treats you dumb. He uses big fancy words like API and JavaScript. I don't, I don't know. But he might, he might have access to stuff that I don't have access to. Jack Peter says my membership is expiring. Yeah, you turn on your membership tabs. Is that what Chad says? Turn on your membership tabs. Turn them on. Turn them on. Ozone says he doesn't want to be on the wall of honor. You can't get out of it. You can't get out of it. Sorry. Sorry. You're in it now. (laughs) You're in it, and you're in it to win it. Okay? Ah. Spy Pigeon says Eminem was good when he was Slim Shady. Well, I mean, he's always been in one way or another. Slim Shady. Uh, Victoria says, Nar- You're dumb. You're dumb. He's always been in one way or another. Narcissist hate Eminem. I love Prime Eminem. He's great. Yeah. Uh, BJ says, Aaron makes uh, looks like male pattern baldness Barney the dinosaur. <laughs> Hurts my feelings. <laughs> uh, I like the MGK diss track. Other than that, his recent music has been trash. There is one song he did called Those Kind of Nights that Ed Sheeran did the hook for, but I don't know if that song mm-hmm. rules because Eminem's great or because Ed Sheeran can sing his tiny little British... Oh, you're gay! I'll build the block feature when you start actually doing a proper show. You're getting sloppy with your breakdowns. We haven't seen a melt and zoom in weeks. Thank you. You haven't seen a melt and zoom in weeks? I was zooming yesterday. You piece of kiwi shit. Good luck getting picked up from the airport. Good luck coming to Hackamania. You don't have a badge. You don't have a badge. This is fucked up. This is fucked up. You know, it's costing uh, thirteen to $1,500 to bring this little Kiwi son of a bitch over here for Hackamania. For this? For me to just, for me to just get abuse lined up? This motherfucker's like, I like it when Eminem's like rapping out against, hey, cut open a fag, slice open a trans. That's the way I do it. Blood on my hands. Cut open a black, cut open a brown. That's the way I do it all over Eminem town. Eight miles, some of them, bitch. <laughs> like, he's like, I like Eminem. I like that Eminem. I like that Eminem. Like, you know, fucking Brittany Murphy on a pallet of cat litter. That's the kind of Eminem I like. Yeah. Slice open a nig, cut open a black. I know that my fellow white Aryan brothers always got my back. Hey, oh, you know, like just dumb. And then he cuts to. Do I don't only- have a badge. Okay. You don't have a super tip website. Try me, hunchback. Oh, God. Is this part of the good show? Is this. Is it- and now you're skipping the queue? Now you can just pipe into me anytime you want. I don't like it. I do not like it. It's it, it's like it's like being able to call me. Not since the next tell push to talk have I felt so invaded. You know, when your phone could just be on a counter across the room and your friend could yell at you in your own living room. Beep, 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 beep. Yo, Patrick, you there, bitch? Come on, fag, pick up. It's like I'm in public. I'm in Win Dixie right now. Please do not yell, hey, faggot, you there over my next tell. What do they call that? They used to call it something. I know it's push to talk. Didn't they have a name for it? Oh my God. <laughs> not since then, though, where you can just pipe up to me. <laughs> it's fucked up. Anyway, like I was saying. One minute, he's over here going, slice open the gays, cut open the trans, bleed out the blacks. 
you know, like like a strong heterosexual man. And then X-Men, he's like, the only good Eminem song lately is that one with Ed Sheeran, because that he can really sing. It's like, we have to sit here and watch you meander through country songs like Eric Church, the softest shit I've ever heard in my life. Well, I'm sitting at a traffic light thinking about why she left me. She's heading over to Ricada's and I'm going to be sick. He wants me to come straighten out a tree, but I know that's just cold. I'm pulling up and April's on his dick. I said my April's bouncing up and down on his dick. And she's scrimping up and down on his balls. And she's riding around on his truck while well, she's looking to buck and fuck. And I got, I mean, that's what we're supposed to be like. Well, that was a good one. That was actually one of the best Eminem songs. Well, I'm at the Dairy Shack and I'm picking up an application for my lady. Did I mention that I love killing blacks? It's like, it's not, there's not even a joke. It's just, I hate blacks and gays. I hate trans. <laughs> That's his show. That's his show. We'll be back on terrestrial soon. We'll be back on terrestrial. <laughs> like, the fuck you will. The fuck you will. Hey, I'm telling you right now, movie, over my dead body, you'll ever be back on terrestrial. You will never, ever be back on terrestrial radio. And by the way, the minute we find out you are, watch. Don't believe me, just watch. I dare you to get a job at a terrestrial radio station, motherfucker. I dare you. You watch, watch. I got, I got just about the amount of money to fuck around with a nobody nowhere, Minnesota radio show. I got just about that much money in power. I got, I got a fan base just big enough to fuck with a Minnesota idiot radio show. That's about where I'm at professionally. <laughs> so please get back on terrestrial. Please. I, I'd love to see. We really, first of all, we really think it's going to happen. We really believe you're in talks. You've been in talks for a year. That's how radio shows work. You have to talk to them for years before they pull the trigger. At this rate, by the time you, by the time they come around to a deal, you know, to hire you, it'll all be automatic AI DJs. Balls off. Uh, he is I British. Yeah, he's British. He's a f word. So you just said you love him because he can really sing Ed Sheeran, but he's an F word. Again, why sometimes can he say the words and sometimes he can't? Hmm. I always believed they was the Bush and Clinton family, says King Kong Dong. All right. Uh, Carlos Cameo says you need to get Matt to remote in virtually so he can drink. Um, Los Federales, Matt, be careful. Aaron was passing some deadly gas this morning and blaming it on Johnny. No, I... Well, what was Matt just doing to his face? Watch this. F word. Hmm. <laughs> He's a f, f word. <laughs> I always believed they was the Bush and Clinton family, says King Kong Dong. Oh. All right, watch this. It's almost like he's scraping a scab off his face. Watch how hard. Watch how hard he, he, like, scrapes his face right here. All right. Uh, Carlos Cameo says you need to get Matt to remote in virtually so he can drink. Um, Los Federales, Matt, be careful. Aaron was passing some... What is he scraping off his face? I mean, watch him scrape. He's like... <laughs> All right. Uh, Carlos Cameo... Like, that's gentle itching, but watch. Watch how f watch how feverish it gets. Ao says you need to get Matt to remote in virtually so he can drink. Um, Los Federales, Matt, be careful. Aaron was passing some deadly gas this morning. <laughs> the fuck is he doing? Both him and Aaron can't stop playing with their facial hair. It's like a little tuft of treasure troll hair growing out of their little gay chins, and they can't stop twirling and playing with it. 
Oh my God, this Ruth's Chris steak is saturated in eggy Minnesota butter. It's soggier than April's bony hole of desire whenever she looks at Requieta's cock of justice poking out of his short shorts. I too have a cock of justice. Cock of justice. And blaming it on Johnny. No, I owned my gaseousness. Gaseousness? Also, I don't need to be intoxicated on air. It's, it's overrated. What? He picks the softest spoken motherfuckers for radio. Johnny literally has an old woman's voice. And Matt's like, Pluff, I don't need to drink on air. It's like, none of them, none of them have a pro project. Aaron undermines his entire credibility about broadcast. Again, you know, he fancies himself a real pro, but it's like the fact that he says that April's an amazing talent and a pro and Matt's an amazing talent and a pro. It's like these guys absolutely suck. So why should we listen to you about anything? If you think Matt is dynamic and a pro, we're done listening to you about anything. If you think April's... A rare talent, once in a lifetime, like, loves this, deserves to be doing it. She's one of the best in the world. We're done talking. We're done talking because you're delusional. You admitted yesterday you hired her out of selfish reasons. You wanted to save her. So, basically, you've admitted that your, your past three years of lying about her being such an amazing talent that she deserved it. So, you're full of shit. You admit that you were lying. She's not an amazing talent. She didn't deserve it. You wanted to save her. She had no right to be in that chair. You wanted it. She wasn't good at it. She didn't fall in love with it. You wanted it. She didn't want shit. She wanted to not work. And guess what? That's what she's got now. Poignant Pachyderm says, April never does a rookie move like leave the ringer on during the show. Oh, <laughs> yeah, she's been hit for it too many times. Boy, here we go. <laughs> Pizza roll with four ninety nine. Thank you very much, buddy. 240 away from tonight's goal and 30 minutes of overtime. Thank you guys very much for the uh, lovely start to tonight's show. Uh-huh. You guys are very kind. Of course, if you want to click the PayPal, you can do that. If you want to do the super chat thing, you can do the super chat. Yeah, I don't say it enough. If you guys want to give me money, you can. If you want to. If you want to do the gifted memberships, they're there. If you want to do super tips. If you want to do a super chat. If you want a Venmo. If you guys want to. If anybody wants to. He always couches it like that. It's a weird phrasing. As if as if you all want to, but you're not sure if you can. You're all waiting. You, you got the checkbook out. You got the pen. And you're like, I want to give, but does he does he even want it? <laughs> like I, I'd like to. I was going to Venmo and money, but can we? You can send in money if you want. Oh, okay. Okay. Several times a day. If you want to, you're allowed to give me money. I just have to remind everybody. If you want to. Oh, okay, okay. He guys, he does want it. He does want it. He said we can. No, you can. He said you could. No, he said if you want to, you can. No, spread the word to everybody. No, people have been waiting to send it in. He said we can. He said we can. You can send it now. He said it's open. That thing. Uh, Bobby Baloney says, Matt, smart. Stop being smart. How are you smart? <laughs> what did you say that was this smart? person has clearly never heard me talk into a microphone before? Retarded. Uh, Corn Diff over on Rumble wants to let us know <clears throat> penis. Yes, sir. Uh, yes. Roots Calhoun, sorry, Puff. I don't give a fuck if this chick was my own mother. I'd still fuck her with no rubber and come inside her and have a new son and a new brother at the same time. Matt's doubled over. Again, these are all Eminem lyrics we all heard 25 years ago. We, we've all chuckled and moved on. They're doubled over slapping the table. And just say that it ain't mine. What's my name? 
I'm Slim Shady. Also, he like, it's almost like he's forgotten every song he's ever heard. Is that how it goes? Because I'm Slim Shady. That's, that's not how the song goes at all. It's, my name is who? My name is ha? Huh? My name is Slim Shady. But not to Aaron. To Aaron, it's like, cause da, 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 I'm Slim Shady. <laughs> you know, you know the old jam. How does it go, Aaron? That's I'm back. That's a great one. I'm back is one of my favorite Eminem <laughs> songs of all time. Yeah. Marshall Mathers is one of my favorites. <laughs> what else? Uh, <laughs> I don't wrestle. I'll knock you fucking faggot. On. Have a new son and a new brother at the same time. And just say that it ain't mine. What's my name? <laughs> I'm Slim Shady. What's my name? I'm Slim Shady. <laughs> I think that's a I think that's an old spice commercial. <laughs> I'm Slim Shady. <laughs> that's I'm back. That's a great one. I'm back is one of my favorite Eminem songs of all time. Yeah. Marshall Mathers is one of my favorites. Stan is good. Stan is good. My tears hold back. I'm wondering why I can't get out of bed at all. Morning rain drops on my window. You know, with the, uh, I'll draw, dear, dear, how does it go? Uh, <laughs> I don't wrestle. I'll knock you fucking faggots the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> what are some other ones where he says fags? What are some other great ones where he says fags and things about hurting fags? What are some other songs where he wants to hurt people because of who they sleep with? What are some other songs that make me uncomfortable about my own sexuality so I lash out in violence? What are some other... Uh, yeah, I'm Back is probably... Ooh, that might be my favorite. I got Marshall Mathers on vinyl. Really? It's a thing, yeah. I can't. I can't. Yeah. God damn, man. Red Fox Mad says, uh, I sent in some stories but at the waiting room before the show. Yep, I did click on a couple of them. Uh, Roots Calhoun says those bars are peak shady. Dude, they really are. Uh, Dude, they are. They're some of the best bars. I, I'm back is one of the best. Um, yeah, I murder How a rhyme when we're in time. You How never heard of happening? a mind as perverted as mine. You better get rid of that nine. It ain't going to help. What good's it going to do against a man that strangles himself? <laughs> <laughs> Read another one for us to giggle like gentlemen at. <laughs> uh, wow, look, now Mooby's doing it. Now Mooby's got the itch. The itch. <laughs> the itch. <laughs> wow, I mean, he's really got it. Watch. He's perverted his mind. You better get rid of that nine. It ain't going to help. What good's it going to do against a man that strangles himself? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's, some of these are just fucking gross. Uh, I'm just looking for. They've all got the itch. <laughs> there it is. I take each individual degenerate's head and reach into it just to see if he's influenced by me, if he listens to me. Oh, fuck. And look what Matt's doing. Matt's got the old Mersh Munch going on over here with the fingernails. The mid show Mersh Munch. What is going on with all these losers and their mouths in the middle of a show? Picking food out and eating it, biting nails, scrubbing uh, scabs off their face, uh, picking lice out of their little goatees. What's going on with these men? I've never, in my life, and again, I've been podcasting longer than most of your grandfathers, in my life, I've never seen people pick things out of their teeth and eat them. And, and bite their nails with such panache. Uh, I'm just looking for... There it is. I take each individual degenerate's head and reach into it just to see if he's influenced by me if he listens to music. And if he feeds... Is that going to be it? Nah, we got to go back for more, right, Matt? Into this shit, he's an innocent victim and becomes a puppet on the string of my tennis shoe. <laughs> it's 
fucking great. I loved him when he was abusing pills and angry at everyone and hated the word yeah, yeah, that or was the good world. Eminem. That was the That's best. That's how Eminem. I want my famous people, my musicians, my actors. I want them all fucked up on Yeah, I don't want them normal and well adjusted. That's when they just suck. obscene. And then there's this, there's something going on too with Aaron's camera. It's like this fisheye lens where we kind of get like it kind of distorts on the outside of the image here. I can't really explain it, but we get like a weird kind of like angled view of both of them. The only thing really like proportionate and right is like this section of the screen, this EL. <laughs> and then you get like a weird stretching going on. The further out towards the edges you get. And you get like glimpses of them on TMZ and other places. Like, wow, look how fucked up that guy is. He's a nutcase. Roots then he releases a new album and it's like, holy shit. Uh, Roots Calhoun says Sticky Fingers had the best verse on any, any Eminem song ever. Uh, you talking about Remember Me? That was a pretty good one. But Eminem's verse on Remember Me was really good. Uh, but yes, I can't remember what the fuck we were even doing. Pro show. Just turn to your rundown. Turn to your prep sheet. Again, like... I. I it takes effort to make a show look like there's no prep. It takes effort to look like that. What's Melton doing? He's just watching a show. Yeah, but I got timestamps. We got a delete the engrossed comment in here he wouldn't read. We got a donation uh, 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 fest he gets on a roll and really puffs himself up about. We got him losing his mind at Trolls coming up at 139.30. Uh, at 155.20, Matt gets tested as a broadcaster. At 203.58, they hit the goal. And at 217.05, there's one of the best breakdowns you've ever seen from Mr. Mooby himself. So, show prep, it's done over here. And then we've got Glitter and Lasers coming up, Angie Crum, Summer Sinclair. We're going to have a little non-steel toe morning, but it takes effort to make it look like I don't know what the fuck I'm doing and I don't have a plan over here. <laughs> I no. didn't want to talk about Eminem any longer. Uh, pizza, right. pizza Roll says, what beers did you have at Bad Habit? I had the Billy Club. Uh -huh. What beers did you have? Uh, I, I think I'm, no straight man will ever answer that question. I, I don't know. What beers did you have? First, I tried the peach schnapps ale. Then what did I have? Oh, I had an apricot cider. And then I tried a limited edition mango uh, IPA. It's like straight men don't have a list of what beers they tried Saturday night. And the Blonde Ale, whatever that one is. Mm. But I had a couple Billy Clubs. Uh, and blonde I, is what ails you. And then you. I, when I, when I, the Blonde is what ails you, he said, and he looked at him. <laughs> the Blonde Ale. It's what April had for two months. I had the billy club in my hand. Uh -huh. I just instinctually smashed it over the head of a black man. Oh. Um, oh. <laughs> if you're not tired of this lazy, racist, horseshit, you're basic. I'm sorry. It, it's tiresome. For the sake of being racist, he's just racist. For the sake of it. For the there's not the joke isn't worth it. It's not good. It's just something racist. And again, he's blacker than anybody I know. I he left his daughter before she was born. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I I that's the blackest thing I've ever heard of in my life. Patrick, that's racist. I know. I know. It's got weird. The whole thing just got really, really uh, weird. I just went, oh, a billy club. Ah, stop resisting. Ah. Turns out the guy worked there. <laughs> did you see my lilac uh, hoodie that I bought at uh, Bad Habit Brewing? No. Oh, guys, I just did laundry today. Check this out. Oh. Did you see my lilac hoodie? No? Well, I... <laughs> Good news, I just did laundry today. Let me go get it. And he says lilac. He, I, I mean, this motherfucker would argue with you about periwinkle and cornflower blue.
I mean, we're dealing with a real one over here, fellas. Oh, he's doing laundry. I'm doing laundry. Oh, no. Uh, uh, no pen fed. No, I did not ride the bike. My bike does not have a motor in it. How can I fucking ride it? It's still not dry yet. I haven't. Uh, is, that is lavender as fuck. I. It's lilac. I, and I didn't know what color it was when I bought it, and now all of a sudden I realize. I mean, that's a girl's hoodie. She's gone. He's doing laundry. This is a woman's hoodie. This is a woman's hoodie. I mean, Ray DeVito has a hoodie this color, and we all fell down laughing. What other show does a guy go show off a new piece of clothing he bought? You guys want to see the hoodie I bought the other day? Hold on. Let's stop the show. I did some laundry. This is a woman's hoodie. I mean, this is just a woman's hoodie. Flat out, it's pink and, and lavender. It's pink, white, and lavender. It's not even questionable. It's a woman's hoodie. Because I bought How it at night. How much had you... He goes, <laughs> and then I, so was I there weird it. lighting? Yeah. Okay. And I didn't know it was this color. <laughs> and then I got outside and I was like, oh shit, I bought a pink faggot hoodie. Had to throw the F word in. <laughs> the guy behind the bars is laughing at you. He knows what color it really was in that lighting. It was a girl. She probably thought I was sensitive or buying it for my lady. <laughs> <laughs> My lady doesn't want a hoodie from me. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know what to say. Uh, uh, <laughs> Matt, I remember showing up to your house, but I do not remember leaving. UFC had me a little out of line. Is that Scott Richard Staska? Yes, yes, it is. Saturday, he he made an appearance at my fortieth birthday party. Very cool. I didn't. I was. I I went out. You you were doing your thing. Yeah. We, we tried to collaborate a little bit, but it didn't work out. And jo good. Johnny and I went out, yeah. and uh, yeah. we had a hell of a time with my neighbor and my neighbor's friend, who's now my friend. I had a April's gone. April is gone. Where is she? He's going out with Matt. He's going out with April. Or, sorry, with Johnny. He's hanging out with... His neighbor and his neighbor's friend, who is now his friend. This sounds like Chad. Yeah, I saw my neighbor in his garage, and I went over there and watched the game. <laughs> a great time. My neighbors were kind of upset with I lit off, you know, fountains, Minnesota legal fire. Oh, sure. Apparently, it upset their dogs. I'm like, you got the gayest dogs ever because those are pretty goddamn tame. It's fountains. Someone said April isn't around to watch Aaron's dirty undies anywhere. Man, that bitch got to find a fucking job. What happened to Sensitive Aaron? <laughs> Aaron's got to wash the undies. April's got to go find a fucking jizzob. Uh, all right, let's... Uh, Aaron's got to wash the undies. April's got to find a jizzob. Aaron's got laundry duty now because April's got to find a jizzob. Jizzob? Was, was, was that a Freudian? A jizzob. Adam with 20, but would you not? I, why are we touching legs? Because, I mean, he's going to be so, this is going to explode so quickly. If you think April leaving the show is great, wait till he's done with Matt. He already had enough of Oz because Oz is a drunk. We're gay, apparently. Keep touching legs under the table. Uh, Adam with 20 bucks says, have a lovely Monday evening. Well, thank you for the $20, my man. That's very, very cool. And just like that, we're at 220 for tonight. Very, very cool. All I right. think if we get under 200 by 8 o'clock, we're looking incredibly good. Uh, K. McDuck says, I think the sweater is pretty. Fashion show time. Ooh. Okay. Ah, they're trolling you. Mm -hmm. Maybe maybe uh, some people think it's a nice uh, sweatshirt. No, it's super gay. I do appreciate those old these old school steel toe vibes, dude. All you've got mm. left now yeah. is old school steel toe no vibes. Shit. It's Johnny in the morning and <laughs> Matt at night. It's all old school steel toe. We brought it back to just the boys, motherfucker. 
Oh, the internet's mean to me. Suck my dick! I don't know if he knows it here or not. Are you mocking your wife? Oh, the internet's mean to me. Suck my dick. Who was the first voice? Your wife? The only person saying the internet was mean to me is your wife. This is an insane statement. The only person complaining that the internet was mean was your wife. So much so that she's now gone. And now you're mocking her. Oh, the internet was mean to me. Suck my dick. Wow. And mad at night. It's all old school steel toe. We brought it back to just the boys, motherfucker. <laughs> Oh, the internet's mean to me. Suck my dick! I mean, that's insane. That's insane to say. <laughs> Be as mean as you want! Again, does he mean that? Chat check. Oh, we brought it back to just the boys, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, the internet's mean to me. Suck my dick! <laughs> Be as mean as you want! You don't mean it. Look. Be as mean as you want! How are they taking this? In the chat. How are they taking this? Are they taking it well? Do I seem tough? Do I look cool? You want? You've taken everything from me. You've taken everything from me. My wife doesn't do my show with me anymore. Holy shit. Holy shit. <laughs> I can't be uh, hurt. We brought it back to just the boys, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, the internet's mean to me. Suck my dick. Be as mean as you want. Chat, chat. You've taken everything Shh. from me. Shh. Chat, chat. My wife doesn't do my show with me anymore. <laughs> I chat, chat. I can't uh, be hurt. Chat, chat. What are you going to do? Oh, what are you going to do? Do I have tits? Ooh, <laughs> you guys are scary. Your man titties are Chat check. Getting big, Aaron. Oh, what did my wife leave the show? Oh, she left the show. What are my... I, I don't know. What else you got? You really don't have anything else. I mean, somebody was right. How long till the word April is banned from his chat? Soon the word April will be banned from their chat. You won't be able to bring April up. Just like you can't bring up Ashley LaRue or Charlotte, Louie, and Emily. Clee, as I like to call them. You got a gay dog. Whoa, I got a gay dog. <laughs> I mean, this is. <laughs> uh, Aaron is going to wear that hoodie and nothing else around the house. Uh, it'll have queso and mustard stains on it in no time. It's Mac Salad. God, I want, <laughs> dude, what a fat fuck I am. I just read that from Roots, and I went, God, I want some nachos. <laughs> I've been losing weight lately. Your inner fat kid's showing Aaron. I think, it's, I think it's the stress of, like, um, is April going to come back or not, and talking to her about what she wants to do, and her mm -hmm. kind of not knowing, and then kind of then knowing. Um, now that she's made her decision, yeah. like, I'm eating again. Yeah, like, yeah, I noticed yeah. today, I was like, oh, fuck, yeah, I'm hungry. And then I mean, who are you kidding? Last week she hadn't made her decision, and you started the day with Mountain Dew and kitchen sink bark. He's like, I'm losing weight because I'm not really eating because of all the stress from April. Cut to him last fucking Friday going, I'm going to have so much energy on the show today because I'm eating pretzels and fucking kitchen sink bark. It's got caramel and peanut M&Ms and... Coconut and uh, nougat, white chocolate, chocolate, fudge, hot dog chunks, little pasta. Yeah, no, I, I haven't been able to eat it all past the kitchen sink bar. It's called kitchen sink. It means everything. I haven't been able to eat it all except everything. The only thing I've been able to eat since she left is everything bark. <laughs> Everything bark. <laughs> Hello. 
Yeah, what we're seeing here is resentful Aaron. He's he is angry at her for losing for leaving the show, and he's just projecting yeah, it out. Of course, outward. of course, he's pissed about it. And he's gonna over the next few weeks, and it's gonna get worse. Where they're gonna be like, it's just a boy show. Fuck women. Yeah, women yeah. are stupid. He's already doing it's it. It's gonna get worse. Yeah, he's yeah. already. And then, like, also, it, he he's got to yell at her. He he wants to yell at her. He's mad. She made him look stupid. She left the show, and now he looks oh, stupid. Yeah. He even says it later on in the show. Like, I told her, like, you can't leave and let them win. So he admits it. He looks at it that way. It, it's it's a L for him. Oh yeah, he's and he's angry about it, and he knows he knows everybody's laughing at him, and it made him look like a fucking retard. He's pissed. Yeah, thank you, and, and I believe that's what he wants. Well, he wants people to. He wants people to. Uh, uh, he he will still talk about April. He'll throw her under the bus. He'll tell bad stories about her all the time until she'll eventually leave. She'll eventually fucking leave because he's not done using her for content. And that's all she ever really was. A fuck sleeve and a little content. And like now, so now, now that that's not hanging over yeah, my head when anymore, you get that, that fucking weight that, dude, that makes a big difference. Yeah, that stress weight. Yes. Oh my God, does that. Chris says, we want Corey Adam. We'll get him. <laughs> We're trying to get him. We're trying to get him. He's tough. He's he's really in demand. Everybody wants Corey Adam. Pick more fucking losers. I mean, why wouldn't you try to get new people who are good? You like you like your show sucks. <laughs> These guys suck. Matt is so fucking basic. It hurts. It hurts. Just no take nudges doing nothing. Yeah, we're, don't worry. We're working on Corey and Oz. We're going to make it happen, man. We got to get the band back together. Even though no one knows how to play instruments, we all suck. We'll get Corey back. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Fuck yes, please. Give the people what they want. Stop letting Corey suck all the listeners over to his independent channel. Aren't you sick of him getting 12 live viewers at a time on his own? Get some of those back, Aaron. <laughs> Fuck. He's shown you what he could do. He told you that you were holding him back. And then he went out on his own and he can't get three Patreons and he can't get 11 people to watch him live. And your thoughts when you see that happen are, we got to get Corey back. He insulted you when he left. This show's holding me back. I've got a lot of creative ideas that Aaron won't let me do. So I'm going to be on my own doing my thing. He did it. We all went <laughs> collectively. Everyone looked at what he did and we all went, uh, no thanks. Every, everyone from MLC to Ch Remember, Chad was like, maybe me and Corey will do a show. <laughs> it's Chad's instinct for everything. Remember when by two? Maybe we'll get Corey over here to do a show. They're all just idiots. Like, no one can recognize. Corey never had it. He doesn't have it, and he never had it. Y'all need to see more? You need to see more. I'm not sure. Maybe he would be good. He won't. He won't. You need more game film on Corey Adam? So again, he insults Aaron when he goes away. Fuck you. You've been holding me back. I'm going to go do my own thing, make more money. Everyone shit on it. Everyone hates it. He can't get one fucking fan. He has to drive RVs around for money and wear Bucky shirts that he found in a fucking dumpster. And then, Aaron, again, Aaron's instinct after the guy shit on you and has proven himself to be a nothing entertainer. Aaron's fucking killer instincts are, we got to get Corey back. We'll get Corey back. He can't even get, he can't even get him. Corey's a loser with no fans who's never done anything, and Aaron can't get him. Do you understand how fucking good this is? He sucks. 
He has nothing to offer, and he won't do Aaron's show. He stinks on ice, and he's too good for Aaron. <laughs> I, I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. While me and Aaron are transitioning out of each other's lives for good, please take a moment to remember me, the roofing cunt. Roofing the women cunt. who had a gay dog and husband. I might not have been able to fly solo, but I promise you I look like a really cool bird today. <laughs> she does. April looks like a really cool bird today. April looks like a... Can April fly solo? I don't know, man. I don't know. Can she? <laughs> Can April fly solo? <laughs> w man, two dollars. Be funny as fuck if you became the second Mike. I I just like again. I I've made I've made uh six dollars in super chats today and had more fun than Aaron will ever have in his life. That's such a, just a fact. I don't like. If I was trying to get that six dollars to be three fifty. I'd be biting my nails on air too. I, I'd be, I'd be, I'd be, you know, vibrating with anxiousness. Fuck, that's a long way from three fifty. We got a long ways to go. And <laughs> uh, <laughs> for sure, he just hated April a lot. That's going to be the funnest part of this whole thing is just making shit up. Yeah, Corey <laughs> just hated it. What happened? Why did I get muted? Did I mute it? <laughs> the fuck? Wh what? How did I do that? I, I must have had a hot key or something. Hey, you don't talk like that. That's dis. We'll get Corey back for sure. He just hated April a lot. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be the funnest part of this whole thing is just making shit up. Normal rule. Yeah, Corey <laughs> just hated April's gut. So he's like, uh, when you get rid of that stupid bitch, let me know and I'll come back on the show. And I'm like, hey. Again, if you think that this is him testing the waters to, to start talking shit about April. He announced she was leaving a day ago, and now he's calling her stupid bitch. It's just the boys again. I mean, I, I know he's doing a bit. This is him testing the waters to, to insult April and start making April a joke. Mark my words. <laughs> That's going to be the funnest part of this whole thing is just making shit up. <laughs> yeah, Corey just hated April's gut, so he's like, uh, when you get rid of that stupid bitch, let me know, and I'll come back on the show. And I'm like, hey, 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 hey you don't talk like that. That's disrespectful. You're right. That's your wife. That's my wife. Uh, we need some Oz dad jokes, dude. Uh, Oz, Oz drinks a lot. <laughs> it's gonna be we hard. heard him try to call last time. It was That's Aaron saying that. Was... It's going to be a, a hard to have Oz on for a Speaking of show. Oz, have you heard from him since the last time he called my phone on your show? Dude, I never hear from Oz until he calls okay, me drunk again. that was again. slightly concerning. Oh, no, no, no. I've heard that call a lot. Oh, okay. You're good. Yeah. All right, all right. Yeah. And Oz is, Oz is fine. Oz is good. Death in Texas says, I'll cry tears of joy when Corey is back. Well, then you will be crying tears of joy soon. Again, he hasn't he hasn't talked to Corey. There's no date. Corey's coming back. Uh, Roots Calhoun says, "When my f first wife left me, I don't think I washed my clothes for a year." Well, I mean, I mean, technically, my my work wife left me, so there's that. Uh, she did too, I guess. My work wife left yeah. me. Yeah, she's that like, "I'm happen. packing up my shit and getting the fuck out of this show." I'm like, all right. Cool. Sounds good. They are being kind of mean to you. <laughs> That's the thing. Like, she thought about leaving during the Zumok stuff. Yep. And I told her, no, you can't. You have to persevere, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And I'm thinking now, so that we didn't have to, to work so fucking hard on this one. Mm -hmm. I was thinking maybe I should have went, yeah, you know what? If that's going to make you happier. But I wanted to keep doing shows with her. And I also thought she was really good. So I did that dad thing yeah. where I I projected onto her what I thought was best for her rather than just letting her 
do that. I don't think she would have left anyway, but I certainly was like, you know, I, I, I no, you can't leave the show. Not like this. You can't let them win. Blah, blah, blah. Like that kind of shit. Yeah, and but I, also like, but then I thought about it and I was like, dude, they're already winning. Our numbers are way down. We never hit the goal. I'm struggling to hit 600 memberships. We, we, we get 200 live viewers. We get 130 live viewers at night. The money's off. We're banned from YouTube. I, I thought about it, and I was like, we already take L after L after L after L. What's one more? <laughs> You've been through the shit. You were trying to give a perspective. He can't stop with Mountain Dew. He loves garbage. He just loves fucking garbage. He's like a Taco Bell person. I mean, he just uh, just give him a fucking meat and bean hose and a fucking Baja blast bucket, and he's a pig in shit. There's, I was there's, trying to give her the way behind, like what you yeah. were doing. There absolutely is. No, no, no. I had the best of intentions. Yeah, it's just that for who she is as a person, it was the wrong message. Mm. That's the problem. What about when she came out and said, "I hope we never stop torturing Chad." This is so funny. Was that when you were trying to get her to quit? Was that when she wanted to quit? I, she wanted to quit back in the Zumok stuff. When she came out and said, never stop doing this to him. Never stop torturing Chad Zumok. It's so funny. Is that when she wanted to quit during the Zumok stuff? No, I'm just asking. I'm just asking. Or is it now? Or is it now? With her fat mama and her fat mama's library Chinese restaurant. Her fat fucking mom and her dad who looks exactly like Mooby but older. Her fat fucking fat fuck mom. <laughs> no? No. She's worried about the drug use. She's not worried about the endless clips of her clowning on race, racial stereotypes. She's not worried about that. Bitch. There shall never, ever, ever be another search of April M. Holt or April Anderson that doesn't reveal your copious amounts of racism and retardation. You are a basic woods bitch with backwards thinking, and it shall follow you everywhere. I mean, you're worried about the drug use. Again, that, that, that's the least of your problems. You, you shall never get away from this. And by the way, you shouldn't. You shouldn't. Come on the show with your husband doing a blackface puppet and mocking Negroes for three years and think you can get away from it? You can't. You can't. Suck it up, bitch. This follows you now. It follows. Remember that movie? Uh, when my first wife left me, I don't think I washed my clothes for a year, says Roots. Well, I left my first wife um, rather publicly. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny because it's happening again. It's funny right now because he's the only one who doesn't know it's happening again. <laughs> you don't say. And uh, so I'm I'm on a second one now. Yeah, I don't get left very often. No, I usually uh, I usually leave. Hello. So I'm I'm on a second one now. Yeah, I don't get left very often. No. I usually uh I usually leave. It's good to know he's taking this very seriously. <laughs> I'm probably gonna leave her. <laughs> I'm a bad guy. All the The girlfriends in between. What, what yeah. happened? <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> uh, Zen's got a clip. All right, Zen, what you got? Mother I mean, this guy's a piece of shit. This guy's a giant piece of shit. That's just a fact. Chip Galloway says, uh, what's a chair status at Hackamania? Bring a bucket. Aaron Imholtz can go fuck himself. You got that right, my Nubian queen. Fuck you, Kevin, you punk-ass little bitch. Are they okay, Kevin? Is your wife okay? Poncho Pilot 499, put it this way to you. Here's five dollars more. Let me put it this way to you. I mean, what a fucking idiot. Uh, Willie Nilly, new member. Thank you very much. Um, 
for being a new member. Guys, we're at ten ninety nine in super chats. We're trying to get to seventeen dollars by the nine o'clock hour. <laughs> we're trying to get there, but we can only do it with your love and donations. Let's go to forty two twenty five. Um, or we'll never get through this. Forty two twenty five. If you think Aaron's not uh, still got that chip on his shoulder and that anger, you are mistaken. This whole world crumbles. All right. We're getting rid of that. Uh, Thank you, Pastor Delethian Gross, uh, 199. We appreciate the super chat, but that is fucked up what you did there, buddy. Uh, and, you know and you know it. <laughs> Pastor Delethian Gross, how dare you? No, it is. You know it's fucked up. Uh, Shane RR says, hey, Matt, when are you going to put on a bikini? Come on, bud. Got to hit the goal. There's going to be expectations from people uh, now. You, you, oh, God. I don't know if I can pull that off. That's gotta People have, will pay me to put clothes back on, I guess. You got to have the right body for it. That's all. Uh, 131.20 is something you're going to want to see. issues on that ship that the people from were like the fucking day one from the day it was brand new and and commissioned the very first time it left any port also don't forget aaron's got his little sippy cup here I, he he i know aaron has this sippy cup because he's doing the i'm gonna lean in man you're gonna make fun of me don't bug me i'm gonna lean in he leans into everything wrong and fights everything right it's like the sippy cup is not a thing you should be leaning into. There's no, This isn't a funny bit. It's not practical. You're not even putting a drink in it and drinking out of it. It's like, what's the bit? No, because you guys think I'm a faggot, so I just carry the sippy cup around to, like, pretend I'm a faggot. <laughs> it's, uh, okay. He j he's so dumb. He's so dumb. He just leans in to everything wrong. It's $312, idiots. Remember correctly if you're going to. Troll me, all right? There were fucking mechanical issues that needed to be addressed. Uh, crunchy Cynicism with two bucks says, if you guys don't match me, then I have no hope in men. Thank you for the two bucks, Crunchy. 185 away from tonight's goal. Please, guys, make this Monday a success. <laughs> Please. Please, guys. Successful Monday. That would be great. We've got a half hour before we run out of time here. We'll add another half. By the way, run out of time? If you give us money, we'll stay longer. But if you don't give us money, we're running out of time. Just stay. Just stay and do it. Just do a show. Just do a show. You might make money. You might not. I, you know, who knows? Who knows? But again, why build this anxiety and stress for yourself into everything you do? Half hour. I, 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 this sounds like a horrible way to live. Or onto the clock uh, if we knock out tonight's goal. So it's, it reminds me of like living, like, does anybody do this where you're like, my rent's this much, my electric's this much, I need, I need this much a month to live. So I got to make $47 every day. I got to make $47 today. And you're walking around looking at change on the ground. You're, you're thinking about odd jobs you can do for people for a five here and there. What a dumb way to live. Like, got to get $47 every day. $47. I got to get $47. I gotta, how much do I get paid? I get paid this much. Okay, per hour. Okay, well, that's only $32. I got, all right, we need seven more dollars today. Seven more dollars. What a fucking weird life. What a weird life. So, again, if you feel like chipping in, we do appreciate it. If you feel like it, you can. Green light. Get it. Uh, Streamlabs, PayPal, Venmo, Super Chats, et cetera. Oh, my goodness. A fake donor comes in. A uh, fake donor hooking oh, us up with God. one. Thank God for those fake donations. A fake donor with 120. We take 115 of that. And that's going to put us at 70 bucks. There you go, boys and girls. Clean up the rest. All right. There you go. We just need 70. There you go. Give the, give the rest. There you go. Give it. Guys.
Clean it up. 70 more. Let's go. Chop, chop. You had a fake donor come in with 120. You guys hammer out the remaining 70, and we'll call it a successful night here on the Steel Toe Show. What do you say? Everybody throw in Streamlabs, PayPal, Venmo, etc. Thank you very much to that. Again, fake. I cannot reiterate enough. Fake donor. Fake donors are the most fun. Uh, Big Chris with Ooh. 20 bucks. Thank you very much. We take 15 of that. <laughs> 14, but who's counting? You! You! If anyone's counting, it's uh, you! He's like, 14, really, but who's counting? You! 55 away. You round it. Yeah, you round it. 55 away from tonight's goal. Why not keep going? Yeah! Why do segments or anything like that? Just keep giving money. You got around it for those fucking answers. Oh, I had a two dollar super chat and you didn't. Blah, blah, blah. That's where he rounds it. He gets fourteen. No, it's fifteen. See. Oh, that's where he rounds it. When he doesn't count the two dollar super chats, that's that's where he rounds it. He's retarded and he understands. Yeah, it's really fucking easy math, dude. He gets it. So simple. NF Cap says the problem is that when the government FBI takes over, there is no oversight for the investigation. All right, 139.30. He gets some more trolls. And he don't like trolls. Going right to a pig. <laughs> uh, to those of you saying answer the phone in the chat, absolutely not. We'll bounce you for that. I know. For those of you saying answer the phone in the chat, absolutely not. We'll bounce you for that. will bounce you for saying answer the phone to the trolls in the chat saying answer the phone absolutely not we will bounce you for that <laughs> what's going on <laughs> I know what you guys are doing oh there's a thing i know what you guys are i know what you're doing doing i know Don't what you worry you're about it. we'll block you on there too. Oh, yeah, guys, yeah. we're not uh, an I amateur show here. We know how to handle this shit. No offense, you. You guys. Oh wow, listen to this. Narcissism cured. What you guys are doing? Don't you worry about it. We'll block you on there too. Don't worry, guys. We're not uh, an amateur show here. We know how to handle this shit. No offense, mm -hmm. you guys. You're just not good enough at this. We are not an amateur show. We know how to handle this stuff. You're just not good enough. We are too good at this. Your fucking wife just quit. We just made your wife run like a bitch. You called her a bitch, as a matter of fact. The internet's making fun of me. You yeah, bitch. Your wife is the only one who's scared and running. Your dumb cunt wife. Your wife is the only one who's scared. And you have the gall to be like, we're too good at this. We know how to deal with trolls. Good luck. Nice try. We did it. We're halfway done. We're halfway done. Fuck. He, he, this guy can't stop winning. Nice try. Nice try, guys. We're too good at trolls. Sorry. Sorry. We're just too good at this. We're a pro show. Sorry. We're just a pro. Uh, for we're a pro show. We know how to do we'll it. We'll block you on there, too. Don't worry. Guys, we're not uh, an amateur show here. We know how to handle this shit. No offense. Mm -hmm. you guys, you're just not good enough at this. I can't. I cannot. At 155.20, uh, Matt gets his first test as a broadcaster on the Steel Toe co-host network. 155.20. Uh, M76 says, can't take Matt. Sorry. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> That's not bothering you right now? No. Ooh. I mean, I remember when April said the same thing. And by the way, I remember how Aaron used to pick out comments making fun of April just to see if he could get to her. And that's what that was. I can't take Matt. Is that bothering you, Matt? Nah. Fuck you. I don't care. You're not upset? Not one bit. Are you sure you're not a little upset? I'm good. I'll I'm tell you right now, guys. We're going to rally for the next uh, five minutes here, and we're going to knock out that last 40 bucks. What do you say? Who 
Uh, 203-58. Uh, he does. He does knock out that goal. That's very sweet. This is just oh, all boy. so silly. I'm just looking at all of this stuff. Uh, thank you. His show is just him scrolling through Twitter. Ciao. Appreciate the internet that, is buddy. An interesting. The internet's just a weird place full of giant retards. Oh. There's really no other way to put it. Uh, thank you very much to Big Chris with a $20 there super chat. That's it for the I'm night. There you go. Call it. We are good. It is done for the night. I appreciate it. The goal has been knocked out. Half hour of overtime coming. Uh, this next story we have. Um, by the way, he does 26 minutes more after hitting the goal. Have to do mm -hmm. is, uh, oh, thank you very much. Uh, Muddy Baboon Ooh. says, take my money and throws in 10 bucks. So uh, we went a little over tonight. <laughs> SH says, it's the old man muttering to himself segment. I was doing that. I just wanted to see you. Sometimes <laughs> Twitter has some good <laughs> shit for you. Mm-hmm. And I just was I was just thumbing through real quick. Wildcard becoming a member for his 22nd month. Oh, I have another cool thing to announce. <laughs> I have another cool thing to announce. Cooler than April leaving. Ooh, what's that? This is great for the locals, the OGs, yeah. the radio people. Listen to this. Listen to this. So while April's gone, prize shows are going to become uh, less and less common, okay. right? Yeah. So we take all these uh, certificates we have, Midland, Stonies, mm -hmm. and I think every day either Midland or Stonies will sponsor like Super Chat or PayPal of the day. Okay. And whoever gives the largest amount that day will get like a $50 gift card to Stonies uh -huh. or a $50 gift card to Midland or whatever. Or whoever Super Chats the most every day now gets a gift card to Midland or Stonies. Huh. Great news, Super Chatters. Great news. Next time you're in Sauk Rapids, Minnesota, you shall not want for beer nor bullets. <laughs> Good news, Super Chatters. This is really cool, and we're proud to announce this. I think what we're going to do, whoever gives the most money every day, they're going to get a Midland Armory gift card. You're selling gift cards. This is, hello, hello. He's selling gift cards to people in parts of the world who will never, ever use them. I, 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 this is insane. This is insane. You know how we give stuff away? Ask for something. Ask for something in my chat. That's giving something away. That's giving something away. It's not whoever gives me the most money, I'll give you a thing that's worth no value to you but feels like a prize if I say it exciting. If I pronounce it in an exciting way, I mean, fuck. Don't worry, guys. If you ever find yourself on a back, you know, dirt road in Minnesota and Sauk Rapids, if you're ever 50 miles outside of St. Cloud and looking for a frosty beverage, Cheetos and, and, and Steel Toe got you covered. They got this. They got this for you. Redbird said, I want a new hat. Done. Done. You get a hat. You get a hat, Redbird. That's a prize. That's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's how we do giveaways. I don't know who Redbird is. Get in touch. Get in touch. Leave a comment with your email address. Get in touch. You win a hat. Crumb Mom's coming to Hackamania. Wants a free poster. Crumb Mom, you get a free poster. Claim it at Hackamania. Poncho Pilot says, can I have Kathleen? Talk to Rick. I don't own that. 
I mean, it's so dumb. It's so fucking dumb. 217. Oh, let's hear his prize. 25, plan. whatever it is that day. Okay. I think that's a I think that's a fine idea. Mm-hmm. I think it gets Yeah. It's another idea where it feels like you're doing something, but you're not. It's another thing where you're obfuscating the fact that you sorry, I'm having a ro- rocky time. Uh, you're obfuscating the fact that you are selling gift cards. Whoever gives me the most money today gets a $50 Stoney's gift card. I mean, great, great. Whoever gives me the most money today, this is Patrick talking. Whoever gives me the most money today is getting a, a gift certificate to a bar in Nome, Alaska. Not even a gift certificate. I'm going to pay your whole tab. I'm going to pay your whole tab. Whoever whoever super chats or super tips the most money today, if you ever find yourself at any bar, this is good at any bar in Nome, Alaska, any bar, any bar in Nome, Alaska, I pay your whole tab. Sit there all day. I don't give a fuck. This is my new contest. Hey, guys, I'm buying lunch for anybody in Shreveport this afternoon. Second largest super chatter gets it. You have to be there this afternoon, and you have to get a uh, grilled cheese. Second largest super chatter wins that today. A grilled cheese in Shreveport on me by two p.m. I mean, just like he just he just giving away prizes that no one will ever 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 claim and mean nothing to anybody. But he, but he's already patting himself on the back. Pretty cool that I'm doing that, huh? Pretty cool that I'm doing that. It's like, what? These are just in a drawer in his house. We know for a fact one of our listeners got one, sent it to me. His name's Dave. He sent it in. The gift card was two years old. It was dated 2021. He got it in 2023. So so Moody just just has a stack of these. Just handing them out. They're they're worthless. (laughs) Gives people more of a chance to win that kind of shit, too. Plus... It gives the people who give a fuckload of money yeah. a chance to, you know, get something back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because David Chandler really needs $20 in beer from Stoney's. That, that is what Corn Diff's been missing. <laughs> Corn, Corn Diff did need free fucking uh, jalapeno poppers down at the... What the fuck? <laughs> like, what is going on? Uh, Hello. Hey, I'm at the uh, Tilted Kilt down here in Shreveport looking to uh, cash in my uh, gift card. Uh, and I was just wondering, uh, instead of the grilled cheese, can I get the uh, cheeseburger? Is that cool? Take your thoughts off one. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just order it and give them my name, and they'll, uh, they'll let you through. Believe me. I, too, am a fat fuck. <laughs> my arms are two fat fucks. I'm such a fat fuck. Come back home, April. Come back to mama, fat fuck. Fuck me. Come, come back to mama, fat fuck. Or she call yourself mama, fat fuck. Go back to mama, fat fuck. Uh, drive by, one down, one to go. Fuck the steel toe, give us your money show. Good point. Clifford says, for the goal. And honestly, I don't know if that'll help, but $5. We take 382 of that. Very cute. Cool. $5 from Luis Ortiz. You must admit if April did a show by herself and she blew up, it would drive Aaron crazy. That's the best payback. Use code Cardiff for 20% off Steel Toe tickets. That is true. That that code works. 20% off Steel Toe tickets. New venue. All of the information on the website. Uh, you're going to love it. You're, I'm really excited about it. It's going to be fucking awesome. This place slaps. You can go look up some concerts. On YouTube in the venue, um, and you'll see. Like it's it's a great, it's gonna be really fun. And again, uh, bring your own chair. I'm kidding about this. Please don't think you have to bring your own chair. But Chip Galloway's got to stand. That's a fact. That's a fact. VIP people have to stand. I assume you uh, have enough money to bring your own chair. So VIP gets no chairs. Actually, it's very counterintuitive. Um. But I don't want to hear about it, okay? All right, last one. 21705. 21705 on the uh program is uh Aaron has kind of a meltdown. 
And then we'll wrap here. Some field goals. Steel give cone. the give give the boys and girls some chicken. Mm-hmm. That's all. Uh, Diva <laughs> disaster says April doesn't just get yeah just ban. Hold on, here we go. Hello. Um, I was thinking it would be a very nice gesture if you would extend a special invite to uh, Mrs. Ape Impult. Um, she's going through a tough time. I thought maybe she could get the Catalano treatment. Get a couple free tickets. Aaron won't let her. Photos with some Aaron, fans. Aaron won't let her go what on MLC. Mean? He won't let her do anything. She's got to get a job now. Stupid bitch, right? Right, but right, right wasn't allowed, but not, but he's going anyway. So let's make it happen. I mean, you're more powerful than Aaron. Let's let's go here. <laughs> Trip to Vegas. She loves she loves Vegas, right? Isn't that her favorite? That's the All right, reach out. Look, reach out. It. Okay, you, you talk too much. Reach out and let her know. I mean, you're dumb. She's not going to go on any. I mean, I don't I don't know if it's a bit or not. But do you think she's coming? You're dumb. You're dumb. So, again, I don't know if it's a funny bit. Or, if it's a bit, it's not funny enough. You're arguing with it like it's a real th- People, like, don't know how to do comedy. Like, that would have been a funny call to, like, call, drop, and leave. But then he starts arguing, like, logistics of it and why it should work. No, no, she should come because, like, no, because Aaron said it's like, it's like, okay, well, now you're now you're, like, digging down into it, the practicality of it. Like, no, she should really come if you think about it because there's she's not. You know she's not. I know she's not. So what time does this bit wrap up? I ass- Look, I'm doing you. I assume you're not fucking retarded, right? So you know she's not coming. So you want to do the second half of the bit where we dive down into the logistics of it? I know. I know it's a bit too, but the bit is like, Say the thing and bail. It's like Melton's confused. I'm not. I'm not. You're confused about comedy. You say the thing like, you know, Melton, you should try to get April there. You know, she she couldn't go to this. She didn't go to that. Great. Funny, funny sentiment. Bit over. But then you dive down into it like, no, if you think about it, she could get a plane ticket. She could get to the airport. Maybe somebody would give her a ride. You get her a hotel room. We give her a free pay. Are you running me through the logistics? Running me through the logistics of it? Like, oh, okay. (laughs) Oh, that is how it would work? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. B snacks. Patrick doesn't make any friends. You're goddamn right. You want to know why? Friends are people. People suck. People are retarded. People are retarded. You want more of those in your life? Boo! Friends would be great. I'd be down for friends. The, the problem is they have to be people. People are dumb. People suck. I can tolerate one in 3,000. Patrick doesn't make any friends. Thank you. I, I take it as a compliment. You know? Thank you. I don't accept many friends. I don't accept you as a friend. <laughs> All right, let's watch. Uh, we're going to watch movie have a breakdown. We're going to watch movie tell you about his channel getting struck again. And then we're going to, uh, Melton's not mad. You, you got it all wrong. I don't get mad about idiots. I only get mad about friends. <laughs> I'm in a, I'm in a goof mood today. I'm in a goofy mood today. Uh, flat cat, Jessica said, all right, flat cat, Jessica's banned. Uh, and again, Jessica, I need you to self ban, okay? I'm not you're not even worth the click. No more talking in my chat. You are banned. No more talking. And again, police this on your own. Just don't type anymore. You're out. You're out. You're not part of our chat anymore. Be gone. Sam B said Ozempic side effects. I people are really Ozempic is poison. I would never put that in my body. Are you guys high? I saw stupid uh, Gustav. Who, look again. I have I respect Gustav because I found out he's a Formula One owner. That's pretty cool. So I have nothing bad to say about Gustav. People are. Uh, I think people think like Ozempic's cool. <laughs> it's it's poison. <laughs> it's it. Ozempic is horrible for your body. Do not do not take Ozempic. I, I fuck fuck read a little bit hey jessica stop all right i told her i asked her to do it one more jessica say one more fucking thing 
No, Gustav was like, if Melton really has health insurance, why isn't he on Ozempic? First of all, if Melton really has health insurance, it's unobtainable. I don't. It's, uh, I can't even. One day. <laughs> Second of all, because I'd rather be fat than on Ozempic. Again, I'd it's, it's better to be overweight than on poison. It's it's poison. Read about it. It rots your insides. It rots you from the inside out. Read about it. As if. As if. Melton has insurance. <laughs> why isn't he on? Why is he having cardiac surgery? Elective cardiac surgery every other day. They'll cover it. Just do it. Ah, um, I too am on a, I just look again, I'm not the kind of fat where I need help. I know how to lose weight. Stop eating and move around more. I'm not perplexed by it or confused. I'm just, I'm just, it's not worth it to me. I'd rather die 10 years earlier and have a burger. I just, that, that's just where I'm at. You guys act like I'm struggling and I need help. You guys act like I'm over here going like, I just, nothing works. How do I get rid of these tits? I know how to get rid of them. A sharp blade or run. <laughs> Sorry, Knight. Hello. 30-second plain English breakdown of Ozempic. It actually slows your digestive system so the crap stays in your stomach. So you're literally full of shit, but you're not hungry because you are full of shit. Can on the uh, one of the uh, side effects is that your GERD is constantly going, so your stomach acid is constantly churning, causing problems with your esophagus and everything else. It's awful. So if you are on Ozempic, you're literally full of shit. That's my breakdown. Wow. Put it in your uh, coffee table book. Look, it also, I've got some other things going on that, you know, I don't share with you that you're not aware of. Um. That are, that are, you know, hopefully. Look, the, the point is, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. And you don't know what's going on with me. And, um, you know, I've got way more serious health fish to fry. Is there a thing called a health fish? <laughs> uh, so, look, uh, you know. Again, I'd rather be fat and, um, you know, I'm not, not throwing up anymore. So that's. And guys like this. If they're mad, do. Hold on. Here we go. That's all. We're ready for a classic movie breakdown. This is last night. This is our last clip from last night. Uh, Diva <laughs> Disaster says April. Actually, the hunch is where I keep my Ozempic. It's like a fanny pack. It doesn't just get. Yeah, just ban guys like this. If they're mad, dude, if they're mad. So he's all day long just ban, 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 ban. If someone tells me to answer the phone, I know what you're doing. Banned. <laughs> because, like, they... <laughs> it's weird. This is, this is mental illness personified. They wanted someone to, like, hey, I want to mm. yell at you. I want to yell and scream and... Here he goes. He's getting on the loop. Because, like, they... <laughs> it's weird. This is, this is mental illness personified. They wanted someone to like, hey, I want to yell at you. I want to yell and scream and say terrible things about you because my mother didn't love me. And then that person goes, um, no. Yeah. And then you go, why can't I? No, she doesn't get to do that. Here's the problem. Okay, that's what I look like, huh? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I get it now. Yeah, see, like, get this fucking guy. I mean, that. It looked like he's just constantly banning people and flipping out. He's just constantly banning people and losing his mind. It's nonstop. Ban, 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 ban. That's just, that's uh. fucking disgusting. That's just really something. Um, but, like, to do this thing where, like, she outplayed you. That's what happened here. Yeah. She outplayed. She snuck out the back door on you guys, and I fully support the move. She snuck out the back door on you guys, and now you're raging. Now you're, now you're doing a little fit. Because April didn't give you what you wanted. Sorry. 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 April 1, guys. Sorry. 
Uh, my whole thing is like this, and I was telling Pat, Pat this too, because uh, we had our bet that April would never be back. It is wild that she won't come on the show. Remember, April loves doing this. She fell in love with broadcasting. She's amazing at it. She love she loves the chat. She has so much support. Remember, she's getting care packages. She's afraid to open, like they're laced with anthrax. All that, three years, she can't even come back on the show to say, thank you, it's been real, I think I need to move on and do something else, but thank you guys so much for the." She can't even come back and say thank you and give you an explanation. She has to quit through a proxy. He has to tell you. This is what I'm saying, like, she's in rehab or dead or gone. Where is she? You know, these guys are whores. Chandler offered him $500 if she'd stick her head out, and she wouldn't do it. That was a fake Chandler. I'm very aware. So, like, what's going on? Three years. She loves doing it. She's in love with this. She fell in love with radio. She's a talent. The chat loves her. She has she has supporters everywhere, and she won't come out and say goodbye. She won't come out and say Thank you guys so much. It was fun while it lasted. I, for my mental health, I need to move on. And now Movie's going to spend it like April got you. April rules. Another win for Steel Toe. April got you, motherfuckers. She snuck out the back door on you guys, and now you're raging. Now you're, now you're doing a little fit. No, she snuck out the back door on you. We don't give a fuck. <laughs> she snuck out on you. She left you. You're the one panicking about who to get to do the show. You're the one panicking asking her if she's going to do the show again. You're the one not eating, remember? She didn't stick it to us. She didn't sneak out on us. This is delusion. She left you. She left you. Because April didn't give you what you wanted. Sorry. And, And as we keep starving you of that oxygen... Don't get, I know it's going to drive you even more nuts. So don't try to pretend it isn't. Don't pull that cope. All right, let's continue on. So it just, it just never, never, ever, ever, ever stops with this idiot. Classic movie. And then, of course, he gets struck. And today, he has no idea. He doesn't understand. How come I can't play a YouTube video? How come I got struck? It's like, again... You're too dumb to know how YouTube works. You don't, if you would have checked off some boxes, you would have been fine. But nobody can tell you anything. And the sad thing is, even this, I'm literally telling you how to fix this, and you still won't listen. You still won't do it. You'd ra- I think he'd rather complain that YouTube's biased and against Steel Toe. YouTube don't know who Steel Toe is. <laughs> Good morning and welcome. It's Rumble every day for the next seven days. What? Yeah. I was going to tell you. What happened on the old... I've got a fun thing to tell you guys about. This is another bullshit one from cock-sucking YouTube. Fuck it. What? You can say all the words now. Yeah. Faggot fuck YouTube. Throw the N-word in. You can't, look, you can say it. Hey, you can say it. He's one of those guys, I can't. I can, so I will. I can say the F-word, so I'll say it. I can say the N-word, so I'll say it. Uh, we can, so let's do. With their shitty asshole cunt algorithm. Fucking twats. Knock the goal out. And we're back. I mean, this this whole this whole act of like responsibility and contrition is just over. We're back to do the goal. Do the goal. Come on, knock it out. That's what we're gonna do. I'm like, I'm tempted this time if all the goals check out. Listen to this lie. Listen to this lie. We've heard this three times before when he got kicked off YouTube. Listen to this lie, what he's gonna do. 
You know what I'm tempted to do? You know what I'm tempted to do? Over the next seven days? And the money's there? Yeah. I'm tempted to just go the whole way on Rumble. Just because you're tired of the YouTube BS? I'm 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 ready. Uh here's look. He says he's gonna quit YouTube for good and just do Rumble. He thinks he's ready. Here's- Anybody believe this? Anybody d- believe this? This is what happened. Uh, I was about 25 minutes in. They gave me the timestamp of when the thing was, and they took down the video. But I have my recording, obviously, of last night's show. So if we go to about the 25-minute mark, my guess is that we were talking about the Australian stabbing, and we showed the Australian stabbing video, and YouTube took us down. It was a community guideline strike. Mm -hmm. So my opinion... Now, we know for a fact, we know for a fact, Aaron jumps to conclusions and overreacts when he loses his channel. I know about the cable. I don't know why. Look at this. Look at this. It's just nonstop now. Just nonstop. And again, I, I I don't know what piece of equipment's doing it. I, I I just this is our life now. This is just our life now. So uh, part of this is uh, promotion for Hackamania. It's the new venue. We're just glitching. <laughs> and then, like, is there anything I could even shake or repair? Nope. There's no way it just won't. It will not. There's nothing I can do. Oh. (laughs) Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. (laughs) Is that we showed the Australian stabbing video. from? What's weird is like when I hit play, it seems to help. From a fucking YouTube video. And YouTube gave us the, they gave us the community guidelines. Let me see if, uh, I'm going to go to yesterday, last night's episode. And we'll go, oh my goodness, what is all this? Uh, Oh my goodness, what is all this? Oh my goodness. This would be Steel Toe Morning Show 04 15 20. So then he wants us to like watch his own show. Which we don't care about. The shit here better silence that. Um, this is his voice. And the thing, the worst thing about the uh, the one with the fucking Veritas video was you knew that they were taking it down because they didn't like what was in the video, not because the video was right. like inappropriate. So again, these guys are just victims. They think that someone's watching Steel Toe at YouTube and attacking them. Yeah, you know they're just watching and they don't like the way we talk about. It's like, uh, they're just delusional. He says he's going to stay on Rumble if the money's good. Well, they missed $100 of the goal today. He says he's going to stay on Rumble. He's sick sick of YouTube. Do you think that's true? Do you think that's going to happen? Do you think that's going to happen? Probably not. Again, I, I I know it seems like a simple solution for everyone. You're like, if only there were if only there were an easy way to just change the cable. It's like six cables. Again, I know you've got your Wii hooked up to a TV you bought from Best Buy in, in 2014, so you think you've got AV cornered. Uh, it, it's more complicated over here, guys. There's a fucking switching matrix. There's multiple cables. I'll, I have to run it down. And I don't have a cable tester. I've got to get an HDMI cable tester. And here's the other part. I don't care. I don't. It doesn't bug me. I liked it. It bugs you. We, 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 we may never fix it. We may never fix it. But again, I, I, think you, I think that most people think it's like a cable and I just won't change it. Why won't he just swap out that cable? <laughs> it's like, all right, man, I don't know. I'm dumb. 
I'm dumb. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know why I won't just swap out the cable. I don't know. I don't know. Fuck, I'm dumb. <laughs> like, we'll work on it. We'll work on it. Like, I, I believe me, I'll work on it. I thought I had fixed it. It came back. So now there's clearly a bigger problem, but it's going to take some ray tracing. I'm going to have to figure it out. It's not go in your closet, grab a new cable, and swap it out. I'm just letting you know that's not the reason it's not been fixed. It's a little more than that. And if I have to buy a whole new HDMI switcher, we're either going to have to move it to a different port that works and doesn't have the glitch, or or that's going to be it's a, a larger infrastructure uh, project for me. But again, if it, if it was just a cable, I agree with you. If it was just a cable, I'm the most insane, lazy broadcaster ever for not going and grabbing a cable. Hello. Yeah, I was just going to say uh, your your pal went by too. He uh, he, he had several several uh, thoughts on how to fix it on his last I show. I know, I know, I know. You might check with him and yeah, see yeah, what, yeah. what he says. Yeah, he seems like a smart guy. I'll probably get right over to him. <laughs> he can't figure out how to turn lights on in his studio he's gonna give me advice i'm good i'm good loser i'm not with momoa my body never left the house please melton help me my soul is stuck in this online world and can't move on april will never return she's in a better place now she's with her momoa where's my baby girl i ate my baby oh no mama mama $20 $20 from shit show. I'm going to Alaska this summer. You may want to look into a reverse mortgage. Nom, nom, nom. Oh, boy. Ladies and gentlemen, buzzer. <laughs> How about it there? <laughs> Mr. Melton, I think the reason why that boy wants to wait a month or two before he drops down the goal, he's trying to save money for his attorney so she could sign a NDA. Because you know he's not going to let her loose and start exposing him for the fraud he is. <laughs> she can she can make more money than she ever made from Steel Toe by writing some sort of tell-all book. <laughs> That's right. She she ought to use she ought to use uh, Miss Larue as a ghostwriter. <laughs> what are you going to do? What are you going to do without the roofing cunt? What are you going to do without this valve painting slut? <laughs> that no good heifer. I tell you what, I've been hiding behind Popeyes waiting for Mama Scrimp to come out and get some of the scraps. And then what do you know? I see that roofing cunt bringing out some grease to fill up the grease trap. So she's already found her second job. Oh, boy. Let's get her. And she's underqualified. I see that bitch. She's lined up in those car stairs, Mr. Melton. She's lined up. Tap your you got a multi you got a Can we hit the like button, huh, for Buzzard Bimini? Bimini Bill? Bimini Bobbity Boop? Can we have a palate cleanser? Jesus Christ. I think we need it. I think we want it. I think it's everything we ever thought it could be. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're getting dangerously close to Wawa Summertime. And that can only mean one thing, ladies and gentlemen. Summer Sinclair's back singing the hits. And if you thought she was good before, you're really going to like this new ditty. 40 seconds of staring at a weird bitch before she decides to sing. This had no views last night, and of course it's got 12 this morning. So we could be on the verge of a viral video. I don't want to say too much. Summer Sinclair. Same dance Donald Trump does from the podium. 
<laughs> you know, what is this? This is like the old people's only dance. <laughs> like, this should be enough to lock a person up. This should be enough to take a person and put them in jail. No normal no one does this. No normal anyone acts like this. Let me let me wind it back and do it and you can tell me if you wouldn't if I shouldn't be committed if I acted like this. Have you seen enough? Have you seen enough? You just to me, you go, oh, they're not with us. This person's, this person's no longer a person. You want to go get a neti pot? We'll do a take two. You want to go blow your nose and then we'll try this again. Also, is, is anyone ever looked less fuckable while they sing? Uh, uh, the tiny life is the darkest. What do we got here? Got a little bat in the cave? Uh, uh, uh. Butthole or nostril? Butthole or nostril is the name of the game. Ugh. You ever seen somebody with a skin tag in their nose? Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. Um, a toy has a very twenty five years in my life is still. Try to get up that big deal of hope for a destination. <laughs> I realized quickly when I. Ooh. Let's zoom in on these xylophone teeth. Is this one loose? Is it just coming out? Is that glued on? Is that just glued on to cover up another worse tooth? There's a lot of pain in those eyes. <laughs> Fucking hell. I mean, just imagine being this woman. I knew I should, that this world was made up of this brotherhood of man. For whatever that means. I can't. This, when she goes high on the shrieking part, it's going to be bad. You know it is. You know it's going to be bad. And I was so sad, I was And I was so And I was so sad, I And so I cried sometimes when I'm lying in bed just to get it all out once 
And so I wake up in the morning and I step outside and I take a deep breath and I get real high and I think <laughs> on the top of my lungs what's going on and I said hey yeah 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 hey yeah yeah I said hey what's going on and I said Wizard Nug 2 says, is this the brown note? Is this the brown note? And I take a deep breath and I get real high and I scream from the top of my lungs, what's going on? And I said, hey, yeah. Not since Kate Meany, have I? Definitely enough for me, dog. Randy Jackson hates it. He hates it. It's definitely enough for me, dog. Yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah. I said, hey, what's going on? And I said, hey. If you if you like summer and you want more summer, uh, she's always got new stand up sets. She's always got new karaoke. She's always doing monologues. What the hell is wrong with you, Jesse? The kids are here. I was gonna bring them in to say goodbye to you and to pack their shit, but that was just too much for you. Just because you're going through some shit doesn't mean everybody else. Oh, you really have let yourself go, haven't you? What the hell is wrong with you, Jesse? The kids are here. I was going to bring them in to say goodbye to you and to pack their shit, but that was just too much for you. Just because you're going through some shit doesn't mean everybody else. <laughs> so she's not. Uh, I don't know if her... her she usually just has the same stand up over and over and over again. So I imagine this is. Here, I want y'all to give it up for the only one, the number one. Summer again, th all these guys think this is comedy. Th this is all they do. They're all headliners. They're all headliner status, yet they all constantly are just at Sin City Seafood doing sets. They're all at Ocha Thai restaurant doing sets at midnight. All making 20 bucks, all making 50 bucks, all making 100 bucks. All in a, a place like this nonstop thinking they're headliners. They're all headliners, man. Come, come to Hackamania and let me present to you this fucking sideshow of local freaks for the open mic contest. Win Earl Skakel's money. Win Earl Skakel's money. What? Watch them all come out. There, there's fifty of them like her, who think they're headliners and don't understand why they're not getting the big stages. It, it's it's depressing, to say the least. Hey, DJ. Hey, DJ, you gotta bring more the music. We you know we black. She black too. She might look like. <laughs> I'm black too, I'm just Jewish black. I'm black too, I'm just Jewish black. I'm black too, I'm just Jewish black. <laughs> okay, what was I gonna say? Okay, what was I gonna say? Uh, okay. I just dyed my hair red. Yeah. Do you like it? Yeah. 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 Without people are saying I look like Lindsay Lohan. 
Okay, so when she went to rehab. Same jokes over and over and over. We've seen the set a thousand times for a thousand years. She never stops. She never ever grows. She never learns. She never does anything new. And boy, oh boy, we've got another uh, local lady who I've been waiting and waiting and waiting to hear something from. This is a podcaster, comedian, hair cutter, extraordinaire, Angie Crum. Her nine-minute special is available on YouTube now. Uh, just, again, a headliner who can't stop telling you about her illustrious career, but also she's in the salon this week. So if you need a haircut, her number's on her Instagram, Crumb Shots. Again, they're all headlining comics. They're all big, big. Uh, Tom Segura is the same way. Tom Segura is the same way. He might be at an arena tonight. But he's also in the garage this weekend if you need air in your tires. We all know comics have side hustles, no matter how successful they are. Angie Crum, in November, December, moved into that big, big, big uh, Skyloft, nice Vegas hotel. Couldn't stop bragging about her her, uh, apartment. Now, she's clearly got a roommate. You know, again, this is just another pathetic loser taking a small little thing and trying to make it like this makes her somebody. And she was going to launch a podcast called Off With Their Hair, where she brings other loser open mic comics up, gives them haircuts in her apartment. Again, because she thinks, like, the view is amazing. It, it, none of them know how to film anything or uh, or do lighting or sound or audio. or or And they're not funny. So, of course, it's going to be dog shit. She filmed a bunch of these, apparently, in December. They were all in the can. You know, they all love using an industry logo. They're all in the can, a.k.a. on the SD card. And they were being edited by our brain-damaged, one of our brain-damaged ex-UFC fighters, David Hollywood Hewlett, who's now a comic. We have about four of these guys here in Vegas because home of the UFC. They were all UFC fighters. Now they're comics. They're all low level. They were never really big in the UFC. They all sucked at at UFC, and they they all suck at comedy. But he's editing the podcast. We've been waiting for it since December. She's never, ever, ever released an episode of this. She still, to this day, has never put out an episode of this show. And they're all filmed. It's almost like she knows we're waiting. So I was very surprised when when uh, one of our crumb watchers came up with this show um, that she recently put out from a channel called Seven O Two Sports. Look at this! I mean, I just I can't get I can't stop bringing you fucking idiots. This this is a a, a channel called Creation for Cause. It has a hundred and eight subscribers. Okay. 108 subscribers. If you scroll through, this is what it looks like. Their videos have five views, 36 views, 28, 74, 39, 131, 46. It's called Creation for Cause is the name of the channel. Creation for Cause is a cause-driven multimedia network focused on making a difference in the community through partnering with local nonprofits, businesses, artists. Just bullshit. You know, buzzwords. And then, of course, the poster child for this thing is whatever this is. Ah! Ah! (laughs) So, of course, I'm interested. The channel creation for a cause, the show is 702 Sports. And this is the show. Again, I don't know what this retarded baby is doing. I don't know why this retarded baby in a crown with lipstick is is like the logo for the channel. It's hideous. Creation for Cause presents 702 Sports. 
on the sidelines. Now, again, this is Angie Angie Crumb's view. It, uh, she can't get enough of it. She can't stop showing people circus, circus out her window. Can you guys believe I, I live right next to the shittiest hotel on the Strip? Can you believe it? Look at this view. Hello. Now, this is filmed really gonzo gorilla style, so I hope it doesn't make anybody nauseous. Hello, everyone, and this is Big Al 702 Sports with my 702 Sports family. JP. What's up, Big Al? What's up, JP? Set to the left. Set. And we are produced and created by Creation for Cause. Again, every time they show this Creation for Cause, they bring up this retarded baby with a crown. And if you notice, on the table, they have a picture of the retarded baby with a crown. Well, set. And we are produced and created by Creation for Cause. Nobody knows what this is. Let's go. Sponsored by Jersey Mike and Jill. Sponsored by Jersey Mike's. Can we get a hold of Jersey Mike's and see if they know about this? 38 view show that they're allegedly sponsoring. Chessa from Jersey Mike's is here sponsoring the show. Let's go. And proud supporters of Best Buddies and the Care Complex. But. Oh, I love Best Buddies and the Care Complex. You kidding me? We have. Look, look again. They have a picture of this retarded baby with the crown on the propped up on the desk. <laughs> like, you want to see that? Plasma Pete. No. Yeah, that retarded baby. Oh, Plasma Pete is here. Plasma Pete. Plasma. It has been a week since I have seen you, and it is so <laughs> lovely to be in this lovely apartment. Hello. And we got Disco Bala on the throne. Look at that beautiful Hello. throne. I just has Disco Bala is here. Passed myself in this lovely, lovely ottoman couch so I could get this beautiful. I mean, look at th look at this setup. You out here. Oh, I just love it. I'm finally amongst my own. I feel. I do. <laughs> and there's Barry the Bear called Coolin. And here's Barry the Bear. Uh, we we had Petey the what was it? Pulsar Pete, Plasma Pete. I mean, what are we watching right now? Mary, you and I would like to tell you that this music fades out. It goes for an hour. This music never goes away. The camera shot never settles. Whoever's got this camera never puts it down. We're constantly walking around and zooming for an hour. And the music never goes away. An hour. An hour of this. What, we, what we've already seen. In, in, insane. Coolest. He is the coolest. And let's not forget about Olivia. Don't forget about Olivia. The camera woman has a sock puppet. Hello, everyone. It's so lovely to be back with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> can you believe it, Big Al? Hey, Big Al, can you even believe it? Oh, shit. But guess what, guys? Everybody, we are here at the comedian Angie Crumb's beautiful Skyloft apartment. So Angie Crumb has allowed this band of thugs and inanimate googly-eyed objects to come into her apartment, hang up banners, put up, uh, you know, easels with logo. I mean, she's allowed all these people in to her apartment to hang up all this garbage and trinkets. Again, for 12 views. It has 38, but, but nine of them are me. Seth, JP, talk about it. Oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful views. You can see the spear to the left, unabated. This guy keeps calling it the spear, and none of these black people even duck. I see the spear. You can see the spear from here. The spear is all lit up. Look at that spear. Did a view to the spear. Listen to him. Spear. Beautiful views. You can see the spear to the left. Unabated view to the sphere. Beautiful apartment. 
smack dab in the world's famous Las Vegas strip. Guys, this place is absolutely incredible. You got to come here. You got to come here. <laughs> you guys got to come see Angie Crumb's apartment. You got to check it out, dog. You got to see. And we just Plus, want to thank Miss Crumb, too. Not her condo, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Maybe not. You got to ask all this first. <laughs> Angie, I so the puppet's talking. Everyone's talking. You can't hear anybody. The music's too loud. And now Angie Crumb's got to pipe up. We're going to get to see Angie. I invited everyone to come over here. Is that okay? <laughs> all right. There. There you go. You heard Is it. Is that Miss Crumb in the background? <laughs> Wave to America, Miss Crumb. <laughs> Is that Miss Crumb in the background? Wave to America, Miss Crumb. <laughs> Everyone's welcome at my place. Come on over. She's not kidding. She's not kidding. This this chick's had her back blown out more than most of the Raiders. I mean, I mean, all she does is drip, drip cum from her sliz. <laughs> Every comic has fucked her. Every fucking comic in Vegas has run up in this. I'm, I'm not even kidding. Like, this is an actual, actual warning. Like, she is a toxic dump of, of foul-smelling STD pus. <laughs> you know, when I first got a chance to uh, see her, I seen her at Jeff Mullet's 28th Super Bowl bash. I seen her. When I first seen her, when I had the chance to see her... And when she came in, I just had, I gave her like, it's like I knew her forever. She smiled, bam, gave her a great big hug. I kissed her hand because I'm that gentleman. And guess what? She turned around and kissed my hand. <laughs> no! No! Oh, shit! Shit! These guys lose their minds at nothing. At nothing. She'll, they'll go... And when I seen her, I kissed her hand, and then she, believe it or not, she kissed my hand, and then they'll all go, what? No! Like, it's crazy. I kissed her hand, because I'm that gentleman. And guess what? She turned around and kissed my hand. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I thought that was incredible. But the interesting thing about her name because I'm a big movie goer, right? Back in the days, watching the first Conan. Again, we're supposed to concentrate with all these fucking retarded baby pictures going on. What is this? If this is if this is to support this retarded baby, where is it? If the show is to support this retarded baby, wheel it out. And who did Conan <laughs> and them? Who was their god? Crom. Crom. <laughs> So as I'm in my shower, I'm like, I'm going to see Queen Crumb. <laughs> this is a great story about Conan the Barbarian and Crumb. <laughs> so I was like, I was hoping that would get Angie a laugh. You know what I mean? Because not too many people remember the original Terminator. Arnold Schwarzenegger. But before he was a Terminator, he was Conan. And he pledged to Crumb. And there is Crumb right there. <laughs> 702 blessed with some legendary right here, okay? We love you, Angie! <laughs> Why is this being filmed? Why is this being filmed? <laughs> Queen Trump. Sports and movie trivia, we love it. But we got one thing that's coming up we want to talk to you guys about, which is the uh, Women of Wisdom by Lavette Smith. This woman is beautiful. I've, I've known her for six years. She is... This is a sports podcast. This is called 702 Sports. So far, we've plugged retarded babies, Barry the Bear, Plasma Petey, a sock puppet, Angie Crumb, Conan the Barbarian. Gonna have a conference, right, on March the 23rd. Wednesday, March 23rd. It's going to be great. It's going to be uh, live singing there. It's going to be a lot of women there about getting. It's going to be a lot of women there singing, women. I mentioned this uh, singing and the women. Women and just letting women know about what's really going on. You know about abuse, verbal abuse, mental abuse. We're trying try to let women know about abuse. Can we get April a ticket to this? There's a lot that 702 that she has to say, and especially when 
I'm not kidding you. This music never stops. The music never goes away. It's like did, uh, uh, we think we're in a great time. It's like anybody with a laptop can do a podcast. Anybody with a MacBook can edit a movie. It's like yeah, but they can't. <laughs> it's like I mean I know it enables them to, but they can't. They can't. Like this guy knows enough to go out and get music beds and lower thirds and and you and focus a camera and shoot it in 4K and all this stuff. There's no content. It's garbage. It's all, you know, again, gonzo camera movements and and 12 views. What are we promote? What is this? The retarded baby sports women hour? There are people that's going to be there and we get to be there. So, Miss Smith, I can't thank you enough about that. And Best Buddies is having their buddy walk. And that's going to be big. And we get to be there. And best, don't forget, Best Buddies is having their buddy walk. We get to be there. What is it? Again, no one can communicate anymore. What is it? Interviewing other people from Best Buddies, and that's taking place in May. I don't want to give you a date, steer you wrong. No, don't give me anything. Don't tell me anything about it. Is, is this a dog walk? It, it, is it for wheelchair kids? I, what is it? <laughs> I don't want to tell you too much. <laughs> well, no danger of that. Stay tuned for 702, and we will, maybe Olivia might have that day. Hey, and again, a, the, the puppet just pops out for no reason. We can't hear it. It's not on a mic. May 4th. Star Wars Day. Come on. Star Wars Day. May the 4th be with you. And I'm a big Star Wars fan. You don't know the power. <laughs> oh, God. We've got a black movie. He just keeps thinking of movies and, and quoting them. They haven't mentioned anything sports related yet. <laughs> of the dark side. <laughs> Big Darth Vader fan. I love it. I love, I love it, it. I love it. So we just want to go ahead and talk about some sports and some recap. Fellas. I'm just waiting for baseball. The Dodgers are loaded. They're loaded. They picked up a big at bat from the Blue Jays, uh, as well as like pitching staff, three pitchers, right? John Paxson that came, the lefty from Seattle, right? As well as Otani, not even that all star. I mean, that guy, he's not even pitching this year, he's just hitting. Well, I would, right. say, I would say the Dodgers have definitely won the offseason, but, you know, that's why they play the game and they play it on the field. I so, wow, 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 wee, wow. Garbage city, and we don't want to watch this. We're just here for Crumb. We're just here for Crumb and Crumb's apartment. Whoa, the retarded baby's here. Fuck. <laughs> Yeah, let's see this video real quick. What the fuck is it? Kill it. Kill it. What is this show? Look at the poster for this show. What is this? Again, do you think Jersey Mike sponsors this? Uh, we got to do some digging. Weekly on Prime, YouTube. I mean, what is... This is how black people design everything. Black people think logos are money. That's why they don't take the stickers off hats. Black people, I'll say it again. Black people think logos are money. <laughs> ah! Oh, I never really thought about it, but I think that's true. I do think that's true. I think black people think the more companies involved, you know, they always go like Reggie Productions in association with all that entertainment with special appearances by Mama Lenore's haberdashery in, in, in coordination with, and they're always just, it's just logos and fucking companies. They all have a company. They're all producers. It's always it, the more of that shit you see on the top of the flyer, the more you can guarantee you they haven't thought shit about the show. 
Run Tell That Entertainment proudly presents a All Damn Right Here production. <laughs> Skibbity D Bop Bebop Willie and Reggie Mac Dutrain proudly present a Fee Fi Fo Fumble joint. <laughs> it's like it's all, it's just logos aren't money. No one's impressed that you have nine different made-up production companies, okay? Magnets to stick onto your door with the name of a business is, is not a company, okay? And I don't care. I don't really care that Fearless is in this video. <laughs> is this Fearless? She has red hair. Is this Fearless? Is this Fearless? Is this the woman who's been telling you to hit the like button? Hit the like button. Hit it. Fearless. This is your new this is your new profile picture. We're setting it. We're setting it. Isn't Patrick's production company something about pants? It's not fake. It's not fake. It's who pays me? It's it's not a fake thing. I didn't I didn't I didn't make up. Toe Boys Industries proudly presents, in conjunction with, you heard Mama Productions. <laughs> it's always something like that. It's always like more beans, please. Industries presents, in coordination with, oh uh uh Productions. It's. It just, it's always just phrases. Just phrases you can hear black people say. Ooh, ah, uh, uh, productions. <laughs> like, yes. Yes. Ah, uh, fucking hell, I can't. This might be inappropriate. it up and well here it is now does this retarded baby have all the money why are they all why are they all hovering around and sitting around this retarded baby The only way I want to see this is if he leaves her there. <laughs> I don't want to watch this unless it ends with him leaving her there. We took Wendy to Taco Bell to see what they'd say when she goes, where's the beef? There's nothing grosser than watching retarded people eat. They don't know how to do anything, and, and now we got to watch them try to feed themselves. I sucked all the meat out of my taco. <laughs> Before you know it, she bit the tip of her finger off. She's got blood running down a burrito. Sorry, I couldn't tell which was my finger, which was the burrito. What's my finger, what's the burrito? <laughs> Why is she hanging out with Chris Angel? <laughs> ah! Beaker from the Muppets. Put her leash on. Time to go. Who is this guy? Who is this guy?
Bye. Talk to you later. I already made poop. The sad thing is they got a cameraman rolling with them filming all this. Now, here we are at the Skyloft Tower. I'm retarded. That, oh, fuck. Why did I wait till then to start rapping over this? This is a good beat. Yeah. All right. Okay. Here we go. We're heading out to the Skyloft Towers. I'm retarded. That's how I get my power. I'm going to see my pal Andy Quam. We're eating tacos. We're having fun. Walk me through the car with a guy named Lurch. I'm going out looking at trees. Is that a birch? Oh my goodness. I'm having so much fun. Retarded tacos in my tummy tum. Open my door, let me go up to the podcast. I gotta do jokes really, really, real fast. Give me my crown, I'm the retarded baby. You see me here? You see me lately? I'm here to do my show, motherfuckers. <laughs> okay. So beat it, check this out. You just came back from tour. What was that? What was that? What was that? <laughs> Yo, real quick, do you have a video of taking this retarded girl to get some Taco Bell? I do, actually. Let's roll that footage. Let's roll that beautiful bean footage. <laughs> huh, you and Crashy Wayward. Yes. Hey, that was on our 13th episode when we were there at you guys' estate, at guys' studio. Right. Rocked it. Crashing Wayward's lead vocalist? This podcast is called 702 Sports. We're watching retarded girls get Taco Bell. And we're watching Angie Crumb tell you about how she's a successful comic. I'm not, I'm not kidding. We're gonna, we got, I, I don't know why we're watching the retarded baby. I really don't. I really don't. I got sidetracked on that. I didn't see it before. I want to get to Crumb bragging about her career as a comic. I, I got to get to crumb. Again, of course, she's got her legs spread and a guy in between them, even on the show. Even on the show. She has to spread her legs and put a guy between them. Uh, live on the show. That's Angie Crumb. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. Find a pair of bottoms that aren't wet at her house. I dare you. I'll wait. I'll wait. Everything she has has come on it. Everything. Out of years, guys. <laughs> We're just having some fun with our new, new puppet, new oh, puppy guest. Someone I is seeing one, <laughs> one eye seeing puppet. <laughs> So we have a cast. Soon we're gonna be more famous than the Muppets. You just call us 702 Street. Now this is a Angie Crumb, professional entertainer. Uh, this is a the most basic puppet in the world, a sock puppet. You do this. This is what you do. She thinks you do this in a sock puppet. She thinks you do this in a sock puppet. You know the one where you put the eyes on here and the mouth and you do that? She thinks that's how you do a sock puppet. Kid friend. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he's, he's li she's lying, I swear. She's definitely lying. Is that comedian Angie Crumb on the ground? Is that Queen Crumb? Angie Crumb? Is that <laughs> oh. Queen I proved it was a comedian. That is Queen Crumb. Hi, everybody. How we doing? We're doing super great. Yeah, Yes, please join us, us Angie, please. You know, I, well, I don't know anything about sports, but Ollie knows everything. That's it's okay, Seth doesn't VGK. either. <laughs> the VGK. All, they all think they're like hot, young pieces of ass. I, 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 if, if this was laying on a shelf in Home Depot, I'd be like, do you have a piece with less knots? Do you have a straighter piece of lumber I could buy? Look at this. Hey, 
everyone. Yeah, you guys want me to join the, the team? Please, should, yes. I, please. should I? Please. Should I? Where you should. should. Seth doesn't. There's Seth doesn't. Seats. Should I just give him a piggyback ride? Yeah, might, yeah, as, well. might as well. I haven't had action for a while, so there we and go. Seth doesn't know, <laughs> and by the way, Seth doesn't know sports I'm either, not so. You for this. <laughs> 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 hey, I might smash your sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Holly, what do you think? That's not my sandwich. <laughs> Imagine the fucking burrito farts coming out of this little troll. Imagine. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> This is the Las Vegas queen of comedy. I mean, I can't emphasize this enough. She's an open micer who cuts hair. She's been doing this 20 years. She cuts hair. I've had enough. I, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. She's about to tell you about her illustrious and successful comedy career. But also, she's in the salon this week if you need a trim. You know how you know I make a living from doing this? I'm not available to set up your home network. Period. Period. You cannot hire me. I'm not available. I, I barely have enough time to announce new venues for my own gigs. You can go get a haircut from her this afternoon. She has time. And more importantly, she needs the money. She did this scam to comics. This was, this was insane. Hit the like button. She did this scam to comedians here where she was like, I'm giving free haircuts to comedians to give back. And then she would shame them if they didn't tip her $20. She started asking for a $20 tip on the ad. Free haircuts for comics, $20 tip appreciated or more. Yeah, that's not a free haircut. It's not a free haircut. It, it, Stoney's gift card, just donate the most. <laughs> it's not a free gift card then. It's not a free gift card. It's Angie Crow. Miss Crow, I was reading some of some of your bio. Girl, you have been on. <laughs> Fox, Showtime, ABC, Tell America, NBC, NBC, how the hell? These are lies. These are lies. You've been on Fox, NBC, Showtime, ABC. No, she hasn't. I, this should make you mad. These are the guys who scam everybody at. Comics you've seen on Netflix, Hulu, ABC, Showtime, HBO. No, she hasn't. No, she hasn't. She's never been on anything. She has a nine-minute special on YouTube. I'll wait. I'll wait. I said it again. Nine minutes. You want to know the gist of it? I'm a slut. How dare you call me a slut? Even though I really am. That's the gist. That's the gist. And by the way, the even though I really am part is part of the act. Her whole act is here's what a sliz I am. Here's what a, what a fucking dirty slur I am. Let me tell you a story about 90 guys I've let jizz in me for money. Then she tells you a story about a guy who assumed she was a slut. And, he, and she had to correct him like, I ain't no slut. And then the punchline to that joke is, even though I totally would have fucked him. So the punchline to her one joke about not being a slut is, I'm a slut. I'm a slut. Again, th th this guy that she's riding on the back of his head, check the back of your neck for herpes. Check the back of your neck for chlamyds. I mean, this is gross. You have to feel the heat radiating out of that snatch. Like a boiler room. Now what? Now watch her tell you about her career. Watch her tell you about a career. I've been on all the networks, you guys. I've had an incredible career. I've had an incredible career. That's why I cut hair and live with a roommate. Guys, I've had an incredible... Like, it's over. I've had Guys, <laughs> I I'm settling down. I've had a really... I've performed for stages, different kinds. I've performed for stages. 
countries. All different countries. Fact, she's performed in one country, Greece, other than the United States. Why? She was fucking another comic who went over there. She's never been booked in another country. What are you talking? Hey, whore. What are you talking about? Guys, I've had an incredible career. You're in the salon this week. Guys, I've had an incredible career. You yelled at Summer Sinclair for not tipping you. Guys, I've had an incredible career. I performed for stages. Had an incredible career. I performed for stages, different countries, all over the country. Yeah. Stages, different countries, all over the country. Sounds like it's real, doesn't it? Sounds like she's not making it up. I've had an incredible career. It has been a wild ride, and it's just, it's crazy when you say it just keeps going up because. It just keeps going up. It just keeps going up. Tell us what's coming up that's so big that's escalated your career. People, people think that means it's getting harder. No, it's getting better. I mean, look at where <laughs> yeah. I live. Yeah. Look where I live. She, her entire identity is this apartment. Again, the poorest mindset a person can have. Her whole identity is this apartment she shares with a roommate that overlooks circus, circus. She, every video, she, look at my view, guys. I'm Guys, I'm not doing well. Look at my view. Homeless people have the same view. Homeless people on the strip have the same view. The view. The view. I boarded up every window in this room. I, I, you don't make in a year what I make in a month. <laughs> guys, I've had a great career. It just keeps going up and up. And I and when when I say that people are like oh it gets harder and I'm like no it gets better look at my view <laughs> how's your career going uh look at my view idiot <laughs> look at my view have you seen the view right and it's just it's crazy when you say it just keeps going up because people people think that means it's getting harder no it's getting better I mean look at where <laughs> I live yeah. look at my house look where I live look at my house <laughs> it's not a house. This is an apartment. This is an apartment. If you if you don't give them fourteen hundred dollars a month, you don't have it anymore. Yeah. <laughs> We're talking Skyloft. The views yes. do the, the views view do not suck. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, do not the suck. views do not suck, and my company does not suck. <laughs> the views do not suck, and my company does not suck. Now, that doesn't mean she owns a company. I think she's talking about the people in the room. Present company. My hand puppet does not suck. She just <laughs> talks <laughs> about the yes, people. Yes, no. thank you for having me. How did you get a spot on 702 Sports? This is amazing. Welcome. Did you guys know we're 38 minutes in and the music's still going? Well, I met Miss Anise 22 years ago. Wow. Oh, my God. Uh, somebody said living on the strip. No, thanks. I mean, that's the sentiment of everybody. Every, any local would never want to live on the strip. It's it, it's akin to living in Times Square if you're a New Yorker and thinking that's the real New York. No, I live at 42nd Street and Broadway, the real New York. It's like that's it's an Elmo fairyland. No, she's a whore. Like, she she's a nightlife whore. She's a 50-year-old. Likes to go out every night, find a new guy, whore. <laughs> like, she's just a gross, gross, road hard, put up wet slore of a woman who thinks she's killing it at comedy. And again, I, I, if you're killing it at comedy, this ain't your Instagram. Let's go. Crumb shots. Get it? Like, come. Get it? Crumb shots. Like, come. Get it? No, do you get it? No, do you get it? No, do you get it? All right, this account is private. She has privated her account. Now, I don't know if I still follow or could maybe switch to an account that f has some access to her. 
Hold on. I think I fo- I think I follow her and she did- she hasn't blocked me. I don't think she cares. Which is correct. You shouldn't uh crumb shots. All right, here we are. Uh she's going to let us uh have a look. She going to let us have a look. Um so bubble bu- big bubble rave deep house brunch and then look at this hair transformations you'll love experience the magic of the best hair salon in vegas angie crumb at the revolution salon vegas i'll be in the salon tuesday the two second through the eighth doing hair hello hello out drinking with my friends Look at her doing com- every one of these photos, just her on stage doing comedy. Oh, wait, no hair again. Hair. But then before that, comedy. Oh, wait, no hair again. Just an ad for getting your hair done. But before that, like uh, hair. Oh, wait, that's just more hair she's doing. I was just asked to do my first inspirational speaking gig at a high school. You going to tell them about all the cum in your snatch? By the way, if you need your hair done, she can do it. And again, just look at all these stages she's on. Again, just a life of a comic, not just flyers for for raves and parties she goes to. And again, picture after picture after picture of her view. Have you seen her view? Did you see this view? She has a view. And she loves this. She's a basic, she's like a wine mom with her memes and basic humor. She's, she puts texts up with guys she fucks all the time. This is one of her big things. She loves to put texts up with guys that she fucked. So some guy asked her to come over. She said, I'm bleeding. How do you feel about that? I'm not familiar with the female anatomy in that way. So, you know, it's a black guy. They love to call women females. I'm on my period. Blums, blood comes out of my happy place um, uh, once a month, and I have to put tampons in there to soak it up, LOL. Ooh. So, again, for a pro comic, there's a lot of, like, I'm in the salon. Come get your hair cut. Did I mention I'm in the salon? Did I mention I do haircuts? Did I mention I'm doing haircuts this weekend? Guys, Off With Their Hair podcast coming soon. This is January 30th. This is two months after the first announcement. And she shows you it. Off With Their Hair podcast coming soon, January 23rd. Off With Their Hair podcast, my hilarious friend getting a haircut and a makeover. Can't wait to see it. By the way, do you need a haircut? Because she cuts hair. And then there's just a picture of a house. Yesterday, for the first time, I drove past my first house. Also, do you need a haircut? Um, Because she's a pro comic. But do you need a haircut? She had an incredible career. She's performed for stages. Uh, if you need a haircut, though, she can do that. She's performed all in many, many different countries all over the nation. And um, also, a lot of people don't know this. She does hair. So if you need a haircut, um, she'll give you a cut. And then she's performed all over the country as well. Again, again, there aren't many comics who have worked all over the country as a full-time working comic. This, this gets thrown around a lot. This gets thrown around a lot. I don't know if Chad ever did it. I don't know if Chad ever did it. Um, Ray DeVito is kind of doing it, but Ray DeVito has like certain clubs he works and never works other clubs. So I, I, I don't know. I guess everyone's kind of like that, but it's like I don't see anyone like working the country like I used to do or like comics used to do. Chad Zumach has six clubs guys take him to, and then he says he works all over the country, but it's like, no, Stroop doesn't book him in jack shit, and he doesn't work any other chains. He gets brought by headliners to places. It's a, it's a different thing. It's a different thing to like be on the road and working a club every month. 
Angie Crum has, mark my words, never worked worked the country on the circuit, whatever that is. The circuit, making the rounds. Every weekend, you're just at a different club. You don't know where, you know, who you're working with or whatever. That doesn't happen to her. These, these are these are horse shit lies from losers. So April's gonna get a jizzob? I didn't say jizzob, I said jizz lob. As in my factory boyfriends are going to lob jizz into my talk hole. Have at it, boys. Baby girl, make sure you swig down some Hell's Hollow Midnight hooch right after you catch a lob. Hell's Hollow. You don't want to get mouth pregnant like I did. Midnight, midnight hooch. Oh, God. Like, these guys can't stop telling people they've been on Hulu and shit. It's like, you've been on Hulu if scrolling through Hulu to see what's on counts as being on Hulu. You fucking idiot. Uh, David Letterman has talked to me on the late show. Patrick Melton, me. David Letterman and I had a back and forth on the late show in 2001. 2001. I was standing outside of the uh, Hello Deli, right near the Ed Sullivan Theater, with uh, the proprietor there. You know, he used to do these bits all the time at the Hello Deli. And so I got selected to, like, do a little back and forth, again, over a TV monitor and and a microphone, with David Letterman. I would never in my life use Letterman as a credit. And again, I talked to the man on The Late Show, which is very, very cute. (laughs) I would never use that as a credit. I would never use that as a credit in my life. Any audience member could have got selected to do that. So it's not really showing off a talent or a skill. I didn't get booked. But I know a million guys who would use that as a credit, as a credit. Um, people are saying you just did. I didn't. I didn't. I'm telling a story. You've never you've never heard this before. I would never put this out there to build myself up. Using something as a credit means putting it on promotional material. Having the comic who brings you up on stage say it. This next comic's been on the David Letterman program. Been on the Late Show with David Letterman. Put your hands together. I would never. I would. It's so cringe to even think about doing that. Why? Because it's because it's not what it is, and you know it. You know why. You know why that's not real. You, that's not your stand up. You didn't get picked for that because you're comic. You know that's not real. Uh, thank you for playing this. Uh, made me laugh at work, which I needed. Very very cute. Thanks, Brad Thacker. Mommy, I saw Daddy in the bedroom growing a man from his butt. Zug Zug Productions presents in association with Zulu Bongo Spears and National Geographic naked ass saggy African titties. Uh, uh. On MLC yesterday, Kevin tried to tell me that even though I filed an extension for filing my taxes, I still have to pay. Boy, is Kevin stupid and wrong. He's wrong, ain't he? Please tell me he's wrong. I, too, am a fucking idiot. It was at the beginning. It had to be at the beginning because I only listened to about 20, 30. I, I put my, um, I took a nap yesterday. I was so tired. So I laid down, I think, around uh, 132, you know, right after MLC came on. And I do the thing where I, like, let it play on my phone, but, like, set it to, like, turn off after 20 minutes, you know? So I did hear that as I was, like, drifting off to sleep. I heard Chad going, like, don't worry, I filed an extension. And then and then Kevin goes, Kevin goes, oh, did you pay? And he's like, oh, you don't have to pay. And he's like, I mean, just because you file an extension doesn't mean you don't have to pay. And he's like, oh, you do? And then, he, and then he did this thing where he goes, oh, so my accountant paid? And he's like, no, your accountant would ask you for money and you would give your 
counting money to pay. And he's like, oh. Uh. And then it just, and, and you know, then it all just ends. Then we never get an answer. So Chad just, Chad just lies about her. No, I'm filing an extension. Uh, it's too late to do that. It is? Oh. And then we all just move on. <laughs> Chad's fucking retarded, man. I've never seen someone like want to be seen as like a smart business person so much. But every time he opens his mouth, it just proves he has no idea what he's talking about. I How do you explain this tax stuff? Has he never paid taxes? He's this is his 50th year on the planet. It's his 50th year on the planet and he's like he doesn't know 1099s, he doesn't understand withholding he doesn't understand prepayment he doesn't understand penalties and and assessments he doesn't understand writing things off remember he's like no no you just write it off like they find things to write off they find things to write off i i just it's painful it's painful every time he kevin doesn't even bring it up or attack him anymore like Kevin catches him in a lie and just goes like, I mean, just, he just lets him go because it's like so prominent. He never, ever, ever stops lying. So thorough Joe Burrow agrees. These guys get it. These guys fucking get it. Humble brag. Remember for two months, April Twitter DMs are wide open. Scrimp lovers. Now's your chance. Johnny Payton, member for seven months. April, definitely go to Vegas if you extend a super special VIP invitation. Handwritten. It'll be amazing if she showed up. Let's do it. She won't even open the invitation. She's scared. She's scared to open packages. <laughs> Stephanie V, member for 19 months. Maybe if you offer $50, she'll come out in a bikini to say goodbye. <laughs> Seanetta, DM'd you gossip about a comedian. Once you figured out I was right, how surprised are you? Is the person out? You're the only one I told. Hold on. What happened here? DM'd you gossip about a comedian. Once you figured out I was right, how surprised were you? Is the person out? You are the only one I told. I can't tell if this guy... Are you saying this to me or are you... What am I missing here? Seanette is saying that DM me gossip about a comedian. Once you figured out I was right. I, I honestly, I'm lost. You DM'd me? I don't. Again, if you DM me, I, I don't remember it and I don't get it. I've told you all this. You D, Once I figured out you were right. You act like I had a, a calculator and a pen and I was like, is Seanette right? <laughs> Let me figure it out. I figured out you were right. I don't like I don't even know. I don't even know what you're talking about. What comedian? Why are you talking code? I I really I don't have a clue what you're fucking talking about. Um Max Bringle, Edith Bunker uh sings four non blondes. Eh, that's exactly what it's like. That is exactly what it's like. Are you buying Bitcoin? It's down. Buy the dip. Buy the dip. Creation for a cause. Retarded baby! <laughs> Gosh, I started doing Anissa's hair 22 years ago. That's how it happened. She was Las doing Vegas. your hair. Yeah. I started doing Anissa's hair 22 years ago. Yeah, I yes, I'm a hairdresser by trade, you guys. <laughs> I moved here from Pine Top, Arizona, and I was so naive when I moved here. I pulled up to my friend's house that I was staying with, and she had a sign on her front door that said, No solicitation. I go, it was prostitution that bad? <laughs> That's one of her jokes. That's one of her jokes. Listen to this. Listen to this stand-up bit she just does. In her front door that said no solicitation. I go, it was prostitution that bad? <laughs> I was so naive when I moved here. I, I pulled up to my friend's house where I was staying. I saw a sign on the door that said no solicitation. I thought, is prostitution that bad, guys? Is prostitution that bad, guys? <laughs> door. That's how stupid I was, guys. <laughs> salesman. Yeah. And she goes, yeah, that's what she said to me. She goes, no, dummy. She goes, it's for door-to-door for -door salesman. I was like, oh. I was like, well, I'm from Pine Top. I was like, that's what I thought solicitation was. Oh, well, I'm from Pine Top. I'm from Pine Top.
<laughs> this is also what she loves giving black men. Pine t- Okay. I just thought it was hookers. <laughs> <laughs> so we got Arizona. We got a desert gal here. I thought you was from the city. With all that blood humor, you guys thought you were from New York. No, so people, everybody thinks they're like, well, what part of New York, are you, New York are you from? And I go, it's called Pine Top. <laughs> Pine Top. They go, they're like, what part of the boroughs is that from? Ha 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 ha. No, they don't. No, they don't. She said that people from New York say, what part of New York are you from? No, they don't. And then she tells them Pine Top, and they say, what borough is that? No, they don't. None of this happened. None of this happened. She is a vapid cum queen. And I I, I don't really like just oozing on about women being disgusting like this i'm just letting you know she is she is that snail traily gross bitch she is gross gross i i don't know where she is or what she's doing right now but she's sticky (laughs) you can guarantee she's sticky that is great we got arizona that came to came to vegas and turning it inside out no she's not She's cutting hair. If you want to know what she's doing in Vegas, she's cutting fucking hair. She's doing open mics and she's cutting fucking hair. Is there a world where Tom Segura, after an incredible career that keeps reaching the height of heights goes back to cutting hair mowing lawns on a podcast he's like i've done it all i've been to countries stages oh my gosh this girl but also it's like the part of arizona i'm from i grew up in the desert area uh, until i was 11 and then my parents moved us up to the mountains because my dad is from uh montana and so he was like, mm. we're either going to the mountains of uh, Arizona or we're taking you guys to Montana. And my grandfather was like, you're not taking my grandkids away from me. So we moved up to the mountains of Arizona. So it's a great story. It's a great story. When I was young, my dad liked the mountains. So he wanted to move us back to Montana or the mountains in Arizona. And then my grandparents were like, pick Arizona. It's closer to us. So we stayed in Arizona. Great story. Great story. Tell us more about which mountains your grandparents liked. I, again, this person would have you believe. Th- this person would have you believe that she's had a big career and done everything. Actually, I have a really funny story about that. One time, my dad liked mountains. Hunting, fishing, camping. It's like I grew up. That's how I, I, I don't have any brothers, so my dad raised us like boys. So, yeah, I was raised like a horse. <laughs> Like, how do you tell these? And by the way, she'll she'll be poor until she dies. She'll be cutting hair until the day she dies. Twenty dollars here, forty dollars there. You know, she has to live like Steel Toe does. I gotta get forty seven dollars today. I need forty seven dollars to pay rent, electricity, and salad. <laughs> I need forty seven dollars every day. These poor people wake up. Forty seven dollars. I need forty seven dollars. I got to get $47. <laughs> now, Angie, how did you get started in comedy? And also, favorite comic, dead or alive? George Carlin. Oh, yeah, that's a George good one. That's Carlin. a classic. I remember she told me that, George Carlin. <laughs> yeah. I saw him on HBO when I was 14 years old. They go, how is this man talking about religion, politics, anything offensive, but it's okay to talk about because he's making it funny? Yeah. It's okay to talk about if you don't make it funny. Old men are sitting out in rocking chairs right now talking about religion, politics, anything. Not making it funny. And guess what? They're allowed to. Are you okay? How are these people talking about religion and politics? But I guess it's okay because they made it funny. It's like, I mean, every church in America is talking about religion and they're not making it funny. They're allowed. You're a dumb bitch. So I- Hello? Hey, Patrick. I uh, was just wondering... Uh- 
I mean, this is really funny, but it's also fascinating to me. Like, what do you think makes these people so narcissistic? Were they always like that? Or is it just the internet making them more visible? I think comic comedians, especially low level, unsuccessful comics that never have done anything in their life want you to think they're always busy. They're, they're, again, there's 900 of them. Please come to Hackamania and let me show you these idiots. There's 900 of them here. They all will tell you they are headlining pros of 20 years. All of them. They never leave the city. They never leave the city. They never do a show before 11 p.m. They never do a show that's not in the back of a restaurant. They've never stood on a stage. They've, ne they've never been paid. They've never been part of a, a complete week at a comedy club. They do one-nighters and shitbox rooms. around Every casino's got a little shitbox comedy show once a week. Every They all think they're doing it. All of them. Again, Chad Zumok thinks he's, like, doing it. I'm, I'm being a comic, man. I'm being a comic. I'm working the road. Meanwhile, I get, I'm telling you, if these motherfuckers had to pay their bills with what they're earning from comedy, they'd, be, they'd all be dead. Chad included. Chad included. I mean, he, do, he has such a loose grip on money, he thinks he can throw out that he made 100 grand last year and you're not going to bat an eye. You, a person who knows what that means. You, a person who either makes 40 grand a year or are you a person who makes half a million a year? You both know Chad's dumb and lying when he says he made a hundred grand last year. Again, Chad doesn't know what money is or how much money what is or how. So he just throws things out. Yeah, I made a hundred grand last year. Like anybody who knows anything about money knows Chad didn't make a hundred grand last year. Like, you didn't. We know you didn't. You did the typical thing that Mooby and Chad always do. I'll show you. I'll prove it. All right, prove it. Nah. Right. Right. I'll show you I made 100 grand. Okay, show us. No. You'll just run with it. Okay. I fell in love with him and yeah. my little pine cone life. And I was like, pine I want to do that. I want to do that when I get older. But I knew I wanted to wait till I was 30 to uh, get some life experiences under my belt. So mm -hmm. when I turned 30, I said, okay, I was like, stop talking about it or do it. So when I turned 30, I started doing it. So this year in June will be 15 years. Woo! 15 years and she's already done everything. She's had an amazing career. Wow. Yeah. Miss Crump, who's Thank your, you. Miss Crump. <laughs> Again. She thinks that you do a, a a hand puppet. She doesn't know how to do. She doesn't know how to do this. She keeps going. Who's your favorite male comedian? Why is he between her legs? Because she doesn't know any other way. I'm not even kidding you. She's uncomfortable without a man between her legs. She she's just that. I'm I'm not exaggerating. She's a gross bitch. George Carlin. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Female comedian. Me. Me. Right on. Again, every time we pan over to the retarded baby, she just waves at the camera. She's the logo and the mascot and the sponsor and everything, and we never find out anything about her. Just waddle the retarded baby in, please. Right then we got to watch that. Watch her, like, lick suck a burrito out of its skin. That was disgusting, watching that thing just... Soft suck on a shell. Right, it wasn't Ben. It wasn't Ben Midler. It was Let me stop. Oh, you are the wind beneath my wings. <laughs> and then, by the way, we just have like an old woman in the back. You see this? There's just like a gray-haired witch sitting on a stool back here. Like, what? What's this? What's going on? These people brought over like mannequins and banners and props and easels and chairs and glitter and, and coasters and 
billboards and sashes and props and crowns and they have 108 subscribers and they get 11 views on every video they're hauling around wagons of shit my wings yeah. <laughs> actually <laughs> the joy I, of Ahar. i did want to ask angie is there uh maybe an up-and-coming comic is there somebody that's newer that you're you know, people ask me these kinds of questions all the time. You know, people ask me these questions all the time. And a lot of the comics, like, nobody famous. A lot of the comics that I perform with, uh, a lot of the Vegas comics, they are a cast of characters. Uh, there are so many of them that are individually unique. That so, no? So, no. If I, I always say that if for some reason I become famous and I get brought to the other side of the fence or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> if, if I ever get famous and get brought to the other side of the fence? Um, they are so good and they are their own brand. They always say you have to brand yourself, you know. So those guys, those girls, uh, they are so good that I hope that it happens for them. And if it doesn't, I hope it happens for me so I can take them with me. <laughs> They're all so good. Do you have a favorite Vegas comic? If they're all so good, I hope they all get famous. And if they don't, I hope I get famous so I can bring them along. All of them? All of them. David Hollywood Hewlett, again, is an ex-UFC fighter with brain damage. He's fucking retarded. No offense. Nice guy, I'm sure. He's fucking retarded. Casper the Friendly Ghost. He's a retarded guy that tried to make a living as a rapper. Couldn't do that. Now he's trying to make a living as a comic. They all suck. Again, they all would tell you their headline. It just, it's, it's painful. It's so fucking painful. It's part of the reason, like, I don't, I don't want anything to do with comedy anymore. It, like, it doesn't mean anything. She's a headliner who's had a tremendous career full of success. Okay. I'm not I won't even argue. Okay. You're a headliner. It keeps getting better and better for you and you've had a tremendous career. Stages, countries, all over the country, everything. Okay. If you're a pro headlining comic and you've had a tremendous career, it doesn't mean anything anymore and I'm out. I'm out. I'll move on to become a hair cutter. Oh, wait, you're one of those too? Then that means nothing. Then that means nothing. Our most retarded members of society can cut hair or teach or fucking paint valves. Sorry. Sorry. Wow, well, Melton really hates blue collar workers. I don't hate them. I'm tired of acting like it's rocket science. Are you saying my painting valve job isn't important? I'm not. I'm not. We all know colored valves are important. We all know nobody would be here without a colored valve. <laughs> Fuck. Can I, uh, thank you to uh, the uh, DK, is it? Is it D DK, is it? The DPRK. <laughs> Thank you to DK for being the executive producer today and all the high rollers. Believe it or not, we're going to have to save glitter and lasers for another day. We're going to have to save the big fat glitter and lasers for another day. Angie Crumb, I need you, need you, need you to put out this podcast. This, this, this off with their hair podcast. It's it. We got to get back. We'll start getting back into the locals here because I need you to know them. I need you to be prepped. I need you to know them. You know what we'll start doing too? When we open up uh, entries for this open mic contest, win Earl Skakel's money, all the entries, we're going to play the videos on the Nobody Likes Onions program leading up to our beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Hackamania. May 31st through June 2nd. May 31st through June 2nd. You're going to like the way you look. Get your tickets, hackamania.com. Promo code um, Cardiff. Promo code Cardiff, 20% off, May 31st through June 2nd. 
Um, come on out. Come on out. The new venue information again is up, hackamania.com. Uh, I've been working and talking to these guys for a couple weeks. It's going to be sweet. It's going to be sweet. It just go look at some of the concerts on YouTube. Uh, look up Sinway Vegas and look up some of the, the uh, like, it's just sick. And again, you might not be into the bands. I think, uh, oh, oh, fucking uh, uh, Insane Clown Posse is playing there. You know, we got some ICP stuff we're going to be doing uh, to the detriment of Little Lemmy. ICP is playing the same venue. ICP is playing the same venue that Hackamania is at. And a lot of little smaller uh, underground, you know, rock and indie rock uh, bands. So uh, you got to check it out. It, it, it looks dope. There's not a lot of photos and videos of it because, again, this thing just opened April 5th. Uh, Sin Wave Vegas. It's like a wave of sin. Um, here's an example. Oh, this one's HDR. Yeah, so, like, this is uh, the venue. Just to get a feel for, like, what the room is like, this is the venue. Um, so, like, that's the lighting setup. That's the, the, the vibe. It's basically black box setup. Again, all the stuff that's on stage is, like, that band's stuff. Like, whatever these, like, cow heads and shit are. Like, that's not part of the... But like, just so you know, like it's a it's a dope club. It's it's brand new. It's state of the art. It's gonna be fire, man. It's gonna be really good. We hope to see you there again. If you're a clipper, a creator, if, if you if you're uh, in the Dabbleverse, if you're one of these, uh, if you have a show, if you you know feel free, you, you you can get a, a comp ticket. We're not looking to make money off creators and and stuff. So just hit me up. Uh, we'd love to have you out. It's going to be great. Uh, Johnny Rockwell says, imagine the smell. Believe me, I already thought about that. It, it, it's uh, it's one of those clubs where they can, like, basically just wash the whole place. But it's also, again, brand new, so it doesn't have a, it doesn't have a smell. Um, but if you think the last place didn't smell, you're crazy. The last place had, like, carpet. You know? I'd rather have a club you can rinse out with bleach every night and get the hepatitis off the floor. Get the hepatitis off the floor. Hepatitis off the floor. Hepatitis off the floor. <laughs> uh, promo code Cardiff. I'd love to see you, but if I don't, you know, like that's pretty much your fault and I can't do anything about it. I like me and I hope you do too. I'll see you soon. Your manner is most unbecoming of a gentleman. Would you be high on cigarettes? The question posed to stupid hoes who don't get it yet Excuse me, miss, are you high on cigarettes? I don't know if the comedy hasn't hit them yet They're full-blown retarded or just high on cigarettes All the laughter that you deploy if you listen to the show Boy, Patrick Melton, Melton faces have you stacking And the low point is the low point, not the reason The reason is fucking gold Gonna make the taco pony party be a party of soul To make you vandalize a van with a pedal sticker So bold the family probably get arrested before they get down the road a stupid motherfuckers just got NL loaned Other radio shows are straight bitch male prone Talk shit on the onions that nobody like past